Hi everyone. Hi everyone. Okay, so I was listening to Kelly Clarkson music and performing in my kitchen. <laughs> so I am one minute late. <laughs> everyone was like, oh my God, he's forgot about the stream. He's sleeping. He's forgot about the stream. No, <laughs> I am literally just performing to Kelly Clarkson songs for my dogs. So I need to post the link to this, then we will begin. I have James Charles's video up in front of me. We are going to be watching the No More Lies video. Hi everyone, how are you doing? How y'all doing? I um, hope everyone's excited for this stream, I'm really excited. Um, so yesterday we watched Taddy's by Sister video, and today we are going to be watching No More Lies by James Charles. They are the exact same time. They were both 40 minutes long, so we're going to jump right in. I'm just posting the link to this. I'm live. How's everyone doing, by the way? How's everyone's day been? My video I posted... Abby, hi. My first video I posted today was, um, like, Shane Breaks the Silence or whatever, and I, I got Humble Pie for it, and it's probably one of my favorite videos I've done. It is so chaotic, and it's so... <laughs> Just know, everyone said that I have a Red Bull. I do not have a Red Bull. I actually have a green tea with me today. Yeah. So, I actually have a green tea with me today. Yeah. So. Hi, oh my god, two, thank you so much. Hi again. Awesome, my guy. It's like 3, three or 2 a.m. sleep. Oh my god, I'm like stuttering. Thank you for your donation. Okay, so what we're going to be doing is just playing this. Um, guys, also, we are probably going to hit 95,000 subscribers while on this stream because we're, oh my god, we're 10 away. We are 10 away. Oh my god. We are 10 subscribers away from 90,000 or 95,000. Oh my god. Adriana Reigns, thank you so much for the $4. It's so sweet. Thank you for your donation. Everyone's saying I'm lagging. You're melting on my screen. Everyone's saying they have screen melting. I don't even know what screen melting is. Hold on, let me open my stream on my phone and try to figure out what's going on. Screen melting? I'm not. Y'all, I'm not screen melting. Oh my God, this is really Inception. Okay, you lying. You know, even if I'm lagging, that's on you. Period. Okay, so. Oh yeah, everyone, make sure you thumbs up this live stream. Thumbs it up. Um, Rachel, thank you for the $5. Hey, boo, say hi to me. I'm your mother. Hi, Rachel Cook. Thank you for your donation. That is so sweet and so generous of you. Thank you so, so much. Okay, everyone. Oh my god, we hit 95,000. <gasps> we hit 95,000 subscribers. <gasps> oh my god. Oh my god, we're 95,000. <gasps> oh my god. Oh my Christ. <gasps> oh my god, okay. Oh my god, that's that's so, thank you all so much. Oh my god, okay. Who? Oh, let's get into this, right? You almost have 100k, yeah, and, oh my god, there's a hair in my tea. That's not cute, oh my god, it. Um, by the way, sharing my channel, sharing my videos is what will push us to get there first, because it's a team effort, you know what I mean? So, yeah, oh my god, 95,000, that's insane. Okay, let's begin this video. So, by the way, his face looks beat in this, you know what I mean? Like, he looks so good in this video. And by the way, everyone was asking me, they were saying, um, oh, by the way, everyone was complaining about my stream yesterday that there was spam. Um, no, I don't have any moderators, but if I see spam, I will just mute the person because i don't want people being pissed off so audrey thank you so much for the five dollars congrats on ninety five thousand subscribers thank you so much it's people like you that are helping me get there thank you so much thank you um well menina oh my god i probably butchered that name well hell mina i think i got it thank you so much for the 20 uh 20 dollars that is so so sweet congrats thank you so much um so what we're gonna do, by the way, um, people were complaining that they couldn't see the screen. That is straight up copyright. Like you're, okay. 
I know what I'm doing, okay. <laughs> Mandy Monroe Preston, thank you for the five dollars. You're a regular on here, here for this. So happy to see your channel growing, by the way. You're doing amazing, Adam. Thank you so much. It's people like you again that help me out. Mariana, again, thank you for the donation. That is so sweet. Okay, let's begin. So remember, this was just after everything. This was just after everything. Y'all, come on now. Do not get pushy in the chat. Who is that? Billard Malad, do not get pushy. I'll start when I want to start. Okay. Watch your life. <laughs> Casey, thank you for the donation. Thank you for the 25. Been going through a breakup for a couple months in your videos. You're just a, a ray of sunshine. That's so sweet. Thank you. Congrats on your success. You deserve it. Casey, that is so, so sweet. Thank you so much. Let's begin. I uploaded a video to my YouTube channel titled Tati. This video was a direct- Yeah, so as he, he shows, look, um, remember that video where he was crying? Um, it was a really cringy video, and he says now that um, he shouldn't have done that video. Now, this video, that video got 50 million views, so let's continue on. This video got 51 million views, so consistent. Response to the video that Tati Westbrook uploaded to her channel titled By Sister. Before I say anything at all, in this oh video, God, at I all. It very, very clear that everything I said in that video in regards to my sentiments towards Tati and my apology, I stand behind 100% and still reign true. I know I got emotional in the video. I apologize. It was something very, very hard for me to deal with, especially when it came to talking about my very own mother. In Tati's yeah, video, he has to talk about his mother. Like he said that, but we watched, if you were here on the stream yesterday, right? We were on that stream together, right? Someone said, watch the first video. We'll watch that after. Don't worry. Like if you, th if you think about it, Taddy brought up his mother from nowhere from like no reason at all. You know what I mean? And so the fact he even had to talk about this. So why she's choosing to close a chapter in her life that I was heavily involved in, making many of her private issues very very, very public. And now Ooh, he was, he was quite shady in this. You know what? He deserved to be shady in this. He really did deserve to be. Like, I'm surprised he held himself together so well in this video. Because if you imagine this shit he was going through. Noodle Art, thank you for the donation. Hi, King. I love him. Currently making art of you. Oh my god, I can't wait to see that. Thank you so much. He was going through shit. And, like, the fact that he looks good. Like, literally. The fact he looks good. That's mind-blowing to me. Like, he... You know, I... Uh, Shelby said, I respect James says video. Yeah, I, oh my god, like, that'd be so hard to do. Let's watch. Waiting with their opinions and speculations on something Speculation that still to this day. Absolutely nothing about. I will not ask for sympathy, and I will definitely not ask for forgiveness either, but I will ask that you watch this entire thing. We will. He keeps going this entire thing. Period, James. We're talking about the story more. Hello, future James here. Oh my god, then he, he goes back to, like, Look, future James is not wearing makeup. I know doing an insert oh in God. a video like this is not professional, trust me. Um, but I've he knows this shit. several times now, and as time keeps going on, more and more things keep coming out into the public, and more people are speaking on the situation, and it is very important to me that this video has all the information, all the he facts, all the receipts, here. and is current and present, because I will not be addressing He was going through it, though. Her boy. Um, this morning, when I was editing this video, I noticed that last night, Tati uploaded a video to her channel called Why I Did It. Oh my God, remember Tati did that video? Remember she did a video, like, why I did it? Whoa. I forgot about that one. Jeffrey Star was on the yeah, he could be a lawyer. The whole situation. First and foremost, I do want to issue a thank you to both Jeffrey and Tati for taking some of the responsibility for blowing this whole thing up. Oh, that was so shady, for taking some of the responsibility for blowing this up. Oh. And for starting everything. And for starting everything. You know what? Like, he deserved to clap back. Um, I really respect that a lot. And I also appreciate the fact that they are trying to redirect the hate away. Ooh, that they're trying to redirect it. Ooh, he was shady here. Because I think we're all aware at this point that it has gotten way too far. Um, past week on the internet has been the darkest I think we've all ever seen. Mm. And it's also been the darkest time that I've ever had to go through. Like, if you think about it. This was a really dark... Like, people are saying that Shane's going through it right now. But honestly, Shane is not experiencing half of what James experienced. And, like, Shane was part of that. Eden, thank you for the $5. Hey, Adam, what are your pronouns? He, him. Thank you for your donation. And my life and my thoughts got to a really scary place. This per kid. Um, watching Tati's video, it's clear to me that she also is in a really dark place 
as well and has been pained by this whole situation. Which is weird because if you think about it, like, Taddy is saying that, or James is saying that Taddy is in a really dark place, right? But in Taddy's video, she seemed well, you know what I mean? In her bi sister video, she, Shane Luddy lost everything though. No, he didn't. He's literally gaining subscribers again. Shane was losing subscribers for a few days. No one on the internet was defending James. Me, you, nobody. James was so young. James was also getting cancelled over stuff that there was no proof for. For Shane, there's proof. It's a bit weird. His channels are demonetized. You know whose channel was also demonetized? PewDiePie. You know what? It got remonetized again. James lost millions of subscribers. Shane Dawson, on the other hand, has lost a couple hundred thousand. Anyways. Uh, if I've known anything about Tati over the past three years, it's that she has a huge, huge heart. Um, there's no denying that, and I think that... It's the fact he's still talking nice about her. You know what I mean? There was no need for him to come on here and speak nice about her at all. Amber said, oh no, I'm late. No, you're not. We just started. Um... I do believe her when she says that she did not want this to get so vile. Um, I don't really think any of us thought it was going to be as big as it really was. In both of their videos, Jackie and Tati both mentioned that they hope that I'm able to change and that we can all move on from this situation. It's so weird because they're, they're wanting him to change, but like, why aren't they wanting themselves to change? You know what I mean? Jeffrey hasn't lost something. Yeah, Jeffrey's just back to normal. There's no one's really cared that the whole time printable was dumb. And trust me, I agree. There's nobody that wants us over with as much as I do. But in Tati's Which is weird because it like gains every single year. This like and saying like, oh, there's if there's anyone who wants us to be over, it's me. But then if you think about it, right? Jeffrey and Taddy are continuing to do this every single year. It's it's really strange. Video and then Jeffrey's Snapchat. They both said every Snapchat, his Snapchat, and unfortunately, there have been allegations made against me because of these things, and I don't really feel comfortable just moving on. I agree with them as well. Cherry Bomb, thank you so much for five dollars. You're amazing. I want you to know that you're amazing. That's so sweet. Thank you so much for your donation. Um, the fact that he's saying I don't feel comfortable just moving on from this is exactly the point, right? Because if you think about it. They're trying to put these dramas off as, oh, I want us to just move on. There was such serious things that it's, like, hard to just move on. Is anyone else feeling like that? Hi, Debbie Davos. Lilith, hi. Um, I would like to take this video today as an opportunity to kind of explain everything that has happened and address literally everything. Um, there's a lot that happened behind the scenes. And you know what? He video, did. And there's a lot he that did. happened behind the scenes and public. My favorite moment is when he refers to Jeffrey as Taddy. <laughs> oh, he knew what he did. After Tati's video, and I feel as though it is my responsibility to kind of let you guys in on those because there's a lot of misinformation going around and it's just not really good. Just like Tati said in her video, this whole situation is a lot bigger than the Spider-Man's. And I think anybody who's- Oh my God, fucking gummy bears. Don't get me started. Holy shit. If you think about it with the gummy bears, I can't. Like, the gummy bears was what started this. Gummy bears. Gummy bears. Taddy fucking gummy bears. Oh my god. Yeah, like he's saying this is more than vitamins. And yeah, like kind of follow the situation is well aware of that at this point um trust me i am too there are way bigger issues here that i will be discussing and talking openly and honestly about later on in this video i have a few notes in front of there's me. a reason this video has stood the test of time and it's because he acknowledged everything you know what i mean everything that's not common for youtuber apology videos here and i want to make sure that i hit every single point and that i don't miss anything so weird. Um, but that being said 
to get to those issues, this did start with vitamins. It was kind of the catalyst. So I'll make sure we kind of go in order and you guys are able to get the full context and full story of everything that has happened. Starting off. Okay, now he's back to this. He's back to his first look again. Um, Heth Turk, thank you so much for the donation. <laughs> there better be some good gummy bears. <laughs> oh, thank you so much. Thank you. My friends and I all attended Coachella weekend one from the April Coachella. through 15th, and I had an artist pass provided to me by a brand. We had a really, really... No, if you think about that as well, the full brand thing, Taddy said that, oh, no brand will give you passes. Yeah, they would. That's what they do. Lilith, oh my God. I'm so happy you're back here. Oh my God, Adam, you're working so hard and give us the good ass content. Make sure you're taking care of yourself while working so hard and taking breaks. Oh my God, I love that emoji as well. Thank you so much, Lilith. You're so caring. Thank you so, so much. Thank you so much. It's so sweet, love. Good weekend. I mean, you guys saw the Snapchats, Instagram pictures, yeah. and outfits, and my video. The Coachella. It was really, really fun, and we will definitely never forget it. But at Coachella, I, I love how you three and that he had so much fun as well. I had drama with a boy that I had been talking with for five months prior, and five it all months. kind of clouded the overall memories. Later on that very same week, on April 19th, my best friends and I in the family group chat made the last minute decision that we wanted to attend Coachella Weekend 2 again. To Coachella is such a wild concept for me. It's like the most egotistical people put together in one festival in like a VIP section. That doesn't sound fun. Nick and Kiki, really, thank you so much for the donation. You know what I mean? Sophie, thank you. It's weird that, I don't know, Coachella's not something I'm interested in. Kind of really those memories. You know what I mean? It doesn't sound interesting to me at all. Debbie Dobbles, thank you so much for the donation. Taddy started all this with James. It was the gummy bears, yes. Uh, this year, it's the Morphe creating the vitamins. This is all Taddy. T, Debbie kind of snapped. Debbie, thank you for the donation. Thank you, you've always been on here. Like, what do you guys think about Coachella? Would you, I'm going to pose a question to you. Would you ever go to Coachella? If you were able to and you got a VIP pass, would you go to Coachella? I'm going to ask you now. Would you go to Coachella? Also, make sure to like this video, like the stream. I want to see the, I, it's always fun seeing the number go up. Hello, Costello. Thank you so much for the $5. Uh, You're killing it, Adam. I'm so pretty. Stay hydrated and take care of yourself. You know what? Cheers to you. Thank you so much. That's so sweet. Okay. Um, people said no in VIP. No, I would know. Depending on who's performing. Julia said, Coachella's a waste of money. Friends of mine went back in 2008. I think Madonna played back in 2008. Coachella isn't even fun, Kay said. Uh, Tegan said, no, it seems nasty. Um, Dean said, isn't Coachella like longitude? Yeah, but with like influencers. I'd go to Coachella. No, no, no. Honestly, Gaga and Coachella was great. Yeah, it was. Okay, so I kind of, so if I wanted my career to end. <laughs> oh, let's go. It's fun. Boy, free. I texted my manager, Jake, that... Okay, so, he now shows this first receipt, so he's... This is his manager, Jake. He says, do you think SeatGeek would get me into Coachella Weekend 2 and I can do an Instagram for them? LOL. So Taddy said that it could not have been planned, but you know what? He's literally showing that it is. Uh, Joanna R., thank you so much for the donation. Adam, you work so hard. Here you go. That is so sweet. And I love the cat in your icon picture. Make sure to give it a little... For me. Thank you so much. So Taddy said that there was no way that that could have happened. You know what I mean? Um, Hef, thank you so much for the donation again. No, it seems like we're famous people to stroke their egos. I agree. I think that's what Coachella really is. And thank you for the donation. That's so sweet of you. Thank you so much, Hef. Um, So Taddy said that it couldn't have been possible. Here's literally text. It would just be me, Laura, Victor, Casey. Oh my God. He literally was like, oh my God, it's just going to be these people. And then list as many people. No Lee or Brittany or extra for Gage. And then upside down. Ooh, I'll definitely ask Greg tomorrow. KK. So he was asking literally for the right reasons. You know what I mean? The very same night asking if it'd be possible to get us in for the next day since it was already Friday. Meaning we're missing the first day of the festival. Oh no, they missed the first day of Coachella. Saturday. Because it was so last second, we were only mm -hmm. able to get VIP tickets, which is not the same as artists, but we had it all. Guys, make sure to like the video, the um, live stream, because it really helps out the live stream as well. And also, we just hit 95,000 subscribers. There's a lot more people on, but I just want to say thank you so much for that. Yeah, we're at 95,050. Thank you so much. Okay. 
anyway and wanted to have a really, really good time. For those of you who might not be familiar with Coachella, I do want to quickly clarify the different passes just because- Oh my God, thank you so much, James. It's just what I wanted to know. Saying like, yay, thank you for liking the stream. Thank you so much. So we said I would never go. Um, someone said, how do I like the stream? Like, like it as, in, as if you're liking the video. Kind of is important to this whole situation. VIP, although VIP, is still very, very open to the public. Artist passes, however, are passes that you cannot buy. The only way you can get a hold of them is through a brand getting them from the actual festival. Uh, like the video, like a normal YouTube video. Yes, shall we? Or through having a personal connection to one of the artists. Yeah, but I don't. He didn't even need to explain this because I feel like anyone knows what a, like an artist pass is and how you get them. You know what I mean? Thank you, Blake. It's strange to me that Taddy, being this influencer, didn't understand PR. Playing. It's in a very, very highly secured area that is not open to the public. Along with artist passes, though, there's also something called a performer pass and backstage passes and a lot of other things that can- I can't believe he's literally doing like free promo for Coachella in this video. Keep you more protected. Keep in mind, weekend one, I did have an artist pass. Weekend two, I had a VIP going into the situation. Nick and Kiki, Monday really, thank you so two, much. My friend, so sweet. Um, Saturday, April 20th, and Sunday, April 21st. I really yeah. just can't understand the fact that, like, if you think about it, he has to explain so much. You know what I mean? Like, there were so many things he didn't have to explain in this at all. JJ Vlogs, thank you so much. I love you, Queen. I'm per, so I can't send much money. Are you kidding me? You fucking, like... Even just watching the stream means a lot. Thank you, JJ Vlogs. That is so sweet. Thank you for your support. That means so, so much. So, thank you. Like, he didn't have to explain this past. There was passes. a major, major difference in the crowd. We were in the VIP section, and I started getting mobbed really, really quickly at a super limited capacity because, as many of you guys know, whenever we stop to take a photo, kind of other people tend to come, and it just turned into a big situation. That's true. That is what just happened. Sarah and said, I'm a little late. We just started. One, that my friend Nikita, Dragon, who I was with a lot of the time. Um, I think he's just playing it safe so people don't come for him for petty shit. Yeah, I agree. He really aired out everything. You know what I mean? Was brought by Sugar Bear Hair. So here he shows that Nikki, um, or Nikita, sorry, put up, and it was me and my friend walking in at Sugar Bear Hair. So proving that people were doing this, you know, for free passes. And like, uh, <laughs> It's normal. <laughs> and had an artist pass, personal security, and backstage, and was very, very taken care of and safe. When I felt unsafe in the situation, I panicked and I texted Nikita and asked her if she had a connection to the sugar bear. Okay, so here he puts more reads up and it says, I'll show you after, but he sent and said, Babe, can you do me a favor and get your sugar bear hair person and ask if they have any extra passes, extra, extra artist pass, important, for this weekend, and I'll add to the story. I'm in VIP and I'm being attacked, need help. Uh, she said, yeah, of course, two seconds. He said, thank you so much. They said, yes, can I give them your number? And he said, oh my God, yes. So literally, he shows the proof. Like, he showed it. You know what I mean? A team that could potentially help me out. Nikita replied right away, and she gave the Sugar Bear Hair team... Like, good on phone. Nikita for doing that. Like, and she helped out really quick. Lila, thank you so much. To be honest, I don't trust anyone in this drama. I only take it for into trust. Yeah, I agree as well. And I think with this drama, there's so many different stories. Normally, everyone's like, oh, there's two sides to every story. But with this one, there's like seven sides. It's so strange. And because there's so many people involved, Lilith, it's hard to grasp the idea of who's telling the truth. You know what I mean? Taddy is quaking. Yes, she is. Everyone's saying, Lilith, I agree. Yeah, it's like, I don't know who to believe as well. I agree you. Um, Alexa Mary, thank you so much. Reading in Leeds Festival is so much of a better vibe. Coachella seems like a bunch of rich kids asking in each other's richness. That's what I've always associated with Coachella with. I don't really go to festivals, so Nicole said there's like 200 sites. Yeah, I agree. Phone number to which they reached out to me and offered to. So Sugar Bear Hair reached out to him and said, Can you say on your story, Sugar Bear Hair came to the rescue in Coachella? They have amazing, delicious vi uh, vegetarian hair vitamins. And hey, oh my god, I'm giving them like a free ad on here anyway. And then swipe up. And he said, yes. They said, post it on Monday. And they said, yeah, post it on Monday so you can actually enjoy yourself. And he literally, again, 
shows the proof. So he doesn't hide anything. To come rescue me with a pass and backstage access and security to make sure that I was okay and was able to enjoy the festival along with my friends. You went to Coachella. Oh my God. And then he literally referenced Taddy's video. I somehow had a security issue oh and God. magically Sugar Bear Hair is there with a contract in hand to save the day for you and all of your friends. No company would ever go out of their way to have an she extra was so you know, handful of passes that cost thousands of dollars a piece like just in case that leads me really exposed to orchestrated her. beforehand but be orchestrated. Had conflict because of me and promises he made to me behind the scenes um so he had to come up with a very clever story and didn't tell me right when he got like back he said as well that he knows that taddy's in like a deep a dark place right now listen she does not look like she's in a dark place the little bit she looks posted. pretty she has her makeup done she has her hair done she has a nice outfit on you know what I mean? Seems a little sus. Did on their launch day. Despite what Tati said in her video, this whole situation was definitely not a big team. It was only yeah, I agree. Beforehand. Um, you can keep really. I'm saying love your mug. Ireland is pretty normal, Caitlin said. Um, hold on. Sorry, I'm responding to a business email. Um, and it really did happen on the spot. The Sugar Bear Hair team texted me the proposal right away. Nobody was involved, and with no yeah. time to negotiate in a panic, I signed. He didn't even have to uh, justify. James you know Charles, I mean? he had nine days after Coachella to talk to me. Heath Turk, thank you so much. I wonder if this is Taddy's way of getting rid of the competition. Well, um, Shane literally said in his first apology, it's interesting you brought that up, Heath um, Turk, that. Um, he was like, oh, would Je was Jeffrey happy to see a competitor fall? Probably. So, like, that's the way they're all thinking, you know what I mean? It's weird. It's weird. It's weird. On Monday, April 22nd, which was one day after Coachella, I was due to post my stories based on my contract. And up until that moment, I honestly had not thought about the fact that Tati was a Sugar Bear Hair competitor. And in that moment, I thought that... Literally, who cares if she's a competitor? Taddy literally spent her bi sister video. If you were watching yesterday, if you haven't, make sure to watch that stream. Like it's a lot happened. She acts like she owes him, or she acts like she owns him. Yeah, and I agree. Why does Taddy think James owes her anything? And I agree. And it's it's so weird because um they canceled. Yeah, I know. Um, Taddy basically spent her entire video saying she doesn't need to do PR. She doesn't need to give out PR passes. Um. Bang PD's manager. Oh my god, you're always in my videos. I love it. You need to do Instagram live so you can guess people. Yeah, I can do that. Um, she is Karen. Oh my god, y'all calling her Karen. No friends in that industry. It's so toxic. The thing is, I think there's friends in that industry, but just not the beauty world. Oh, by the way, does anyone here watch Sim YouTubers? Because if you do watch Sim YouTubers, Grace, go charge your phone. If you watch Sim YouTubers, I was laughing today because I was like, oh my god, could you imagine drama in the Sim YouTuber community? That would be so fucking funny. Like, what would they, they would fight and be doing, like, Let's Plays. Like, creating a Sim and then, like, offing it. You know what I mean? Like, that's, uh, Plumbella is, I fucking love Plumbella. Let's get back to this video. Oh no, so Taddy said she doesn't need to do PR. Her products are that good. They speak for itself. If so, why were you so angry that James was showing another competitor? If yours are so good, Plumbella would spill the tea. Like, you don't need to. Staffu Sims is really good, too. Del Gracie, Lil Simsy, I love these all. know the context of the sponsorship and everything that was going on. To not even get a phone call, to not even get a text a few days prior. It's so weird that um, he's referencing her video because that was such a boss move. That was such a bold move. You know what I mean? That was such a boss move. Whoa, he really did that. Gray said, why Adam speaking facts? Okay, there's 1.1 thousand of you on here. Make sure to like the video. Helps out. But right after- Yeah, it really was a boss move, him including this. Katie, thank you so much. You're a real bait. It's my B-Day, so I'm watching your videos. Oh my God, okay. <clears throat> Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. I've sang happy birthday to two people today, Katie and Shane. <laughs> happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to Katie. Triton, happy birthday to you. I hope you enjoyed that. Nick and Kiki said, James was honest, and if it was a Dolan Twins, um, yeah, I'm not really voicing my opinion on that because I think it's quite sensitive. Thank you for your donation. I think it's sensitive topics are 
stuff I'll not include myself in unless it's like public knowledge is different. I kind of referenced it in my Dolan Twins video today, so. Yeah, him including yeah, her video was a boss move. post went up to have a text. Yeah, like, everyone's spamming happy hey, birthday mom, for Katie. I love you, I'm stressed. Um, just so you know, happy birthday, XYZ, Katie. I just did this post, but it's no big. Before posting my stories, I actually did text Hunty first. And I oh, fuck, he really exposed her. Oh, my God. Okay, so he literally, look, he puts it on the screen and exposes the fact that he really did. Oh, my God. Okay, so I'm going to read out the text, so. Oh my god, and Taddy made a joke. Taddy was like, oh my god, why couldn't you have texted me and be like, mom, I did this. He literally says, I'm gonna read out what James Charles said. Mom, I wanted to text you and tell you that I have a post about sugar bear hair on my story today. They saved me at Coachella from getting literally mobbed and got me backstage passes. They have new sleep vitamins, so I'm putting emphasis on those rather than the hair ones. So Taddy is halo hair, I think. I miss you so much and I've been getting the absolute worst anxiety and I need a mom someday soon. And then she said, this honestly breaks my heart. Taddy, grow up. Oh my God. Caitlin said, Adam, I have a question. How do you post like three videos a day and keep track of everything? A lot of work. Taddy said, this honestly breaks my heart. Girl, Mandy Monroe, thank you for liking the stream. What Kayla said, yes. So Taddy needed to grow up even by that. Like she literally responded one sentence. And then he said, I was getting mobbed at Coachella because the company that sent me only gave me VIP and everyone literally came and started mobbing me. I don't plan on working with them again. And I've told you that before. I didn't want to work with them and would never promote other vitamins beside Halo. It was literally my only option. And I text you before to let you know, instead of posting and catching you off guard, he literally warned her. Then she responded and said, if you support my number one competitor after all the support I've given you, this is so manipulative. Like he couldn't have changed what he's done. I would love to buy um, Halo Beauty and do a review of it. You know what? To see if it's good or not. Grace, it is Britney Spears. And then, so she said, after all the support I've given you, this is literally manipulating him. I look like a fool. I'm really hurt. This isn't makeup where people can buy multiple of multiples of vitamins in each category. This will harm my business. But yet she said in her video that it won't harm her business. She literally said in her video that it didn't matter that he promoted this because it won't affect her business because her business is so good. Lola said, love the hair sound. I resound. I love you, Lola. So she said it won't affect her business at all, right? Yet here, she's saying, this will really hurt my business. Sorry, she said, this will harm my business. If you need a sponsorship, I'll give you that. Which is funny, because she wouldn't have been able to give him the uh, passes at Coachella, number one. And number two, she said she doesn't do PR. Sorry, my like cord is stuck. Um, and she said she wouldn't even give PR to anyone. Yet here, she's saying... If you needed a sponsorship, I'll give you that. But to trade VIP tickets to Coachella for a post that's going to hurt me so deeply is disappointing. Katie, thank you. Thank you, Adam. Made my day. I hope you had a really good day. Or if it's today that's your birthday, I hope you have a really good day. Either way, good week. Respect for her, giving her heads up about the sponsorship, but she was immediately upset. I tried my best to kind of explain the entire situation and also give her a direct apology. That's why I just read well, you. But at this point, I had signed the contract and I absolutely had to post it. There was no getting out of it. Who cares? Like, who cares that he posted this? You know what I mean? This is like. You should do Halo Beauty versus Sugar Bear Hair. Oh my god, that would literally cause mayhem um, oh shit wait there. um he sent more text messages i'm gonna read these out whoa she like didn't respond to him look okay he responded and said taddy it's not like that i reached out to them beforehand and asked them for a brand deal i didn't want to do anything with them and told you from the beginning i understand why you're upset but you've seen the crowds that i pull period okay miss thing You've seen the cards that I pull, um, and we didn't expect in the VIP area 
but their team literally pulled me out and backstage and gave us passes and said, here's an artist pass and security, just do one story for us. It's literally one story as well. She's so threatened. It's so weird. McKinsey, thank you so much. Hey, keep up the good work. What's the Discord? I've been looking for it. Oh, I, before the end of the stream, I will um, post it in the comment section. Thank you for your donation. Like, it was literally one story. Like, she's so threatened. Um, and you're good. It was either take the pass or leave the festival because I felt unsafe. I don't want a sponsorship from you or anyone. You have my support for free and you know that. And she did. That's why it's so weird. Lilith said, I don't know Taddy personally, but she seems like the girl on school that seemed nice at first. But once it, yeah, she, I agree, Lilith. And thank you for your donation. That's so sweet. I, I agree. Yeah, everyone, make sure you're subscribed. We just hit 95,000 subscribers. Let's get 100K soon. Nina, Taddy looks so smug. She never cared about James. I literally agree. So he then said, um, I only talked about the sleep vitamins. I want you to know it's not about you. I'm sorry again. I recognize the support. Um, Heth Turk, thank you for the donation. I don't know if you agree, but Taddy reminds me of that stepmother from Cinderella. Y'all are going to hate me, but I've never watched the movie Cinderella. And thank you for your donation. I'm sorry for that again. I recognize the support that you've given me and would never want to take advantage of that. It was truly an emergency situation. And he, like, we're all aware of that. Um, I've had the worst past few weeks of my life and you're not, wait, and you're not even going to want to hear about it because it has to do with this dumbass boy taking advantage of me. Um, I, like, she didn't even care. If you're the mother, why haven't you cared? Not the Blair Witch. Have some coffee on me. Oh my god, I love coffee. Thank you so much. You're going to need it after these late night live streams. That is so thoughtful. That's such a thoughtful message as well. Thank you, Not the Blair Witch. That is so, so sweet. Thank you. Everyone's dragging me because I haven't watched Cinderella. This is like hard to read because it's so much. So I've had the, pa the worst past few weeks and you don't even want to hear about that because this dumbass boy was taking advantage of me. But I did not want to let you know that because I'm looking into therapy and other ways to deal with my feelings and figure out how to deal with these things because my thoughts have been dangerous recently. So she knew, that's, t take that in mind, everyone. She knew, he told her before she did her bi sister video that his thoughts was in a dangerous place, yet she still did the video. Like, that's not the best person in my opinion. You know what I mean? That's not really a good person. Then he says, I'm not proud of that and I'm not in a good place, but I think you're not know the advice you've given me. And the last thing I will do is fight with the person who I truly know has my best intentions in mind. Uh, that is really, that's really like, that's hard to hear. I absolutely had to post it. There was no. The fact that she made her video after getting them texts as well is quite disgusting. Getting out of it. Um, I then headed to the airport and took off on a flight to San Francisco. By the time that I had landed one hour later, Tati had uploaded all of her Instagram stories of her crying. Which we watched yesterday. We watched the Instagram lives of her crying. There was a, It was literally five minutes of her crying. Yeah, Emily said, mother figure. Not your baby. Said so you don't do that. To some, yeah, so yeah, I agree. She's definitely not a good friend. Grace, charge your phone. I d so I don't understand the fact that literally an hour after he sent these texts, she ignored him and then did that five minute round on her fucking story that was so fucking uncalled for. His, some, his mental state was already in a bad place. Yes, I agree. Um, Hef Turk, I feel bad for James. His career was almost ruined by the person he considered his mother. That's literally scary to think. Thank you for your donation, Hef Turk. Thank you talking about the friends of the community that haven't really supported her, how she was alone, and how she felt very, very hurt and betrayed. Very quickly, people put two and two together and realized that this was clearly about me, and I started getting thousands and thousands of tweets and comments and texts about the whole situation. Throughout the next several hours, I made countless attempts to text both Tom. Okay, so he's now shown um, that he actually sent her more texts, and the text, and literally you can see that she's not responding. So she made her Instagram stories between here and here. So she actively ignored his text. That's, he said, 
Can you please call me when you're not busy? Savannah, thank you for the $10. I love your accent. You know what I mean? <laughs> thank you so much, Savannah. And Subord said, love you, Adam. I love you too. Oh my God, you're on all these streams. You're killing it. Lilith, imagine meeting these people one day, Adam, when you reach 1 million or more. Like, what would you say? Oh my God, I'll have things to say. Thank you, Lilith, for the donation. Yeah, that'll be awkward. Irene said, poo poo pee pee. Period. Bob Ross said, you know what I mean? I say that a lot, sorry. So he said, can you please give me a call when you're not busy? Then later on that day, he sent that at 5 p.m. Then at 11 p.m., he said, I'm now getting death threats from fans right now for betraying you and calling me a snake. I'd really appreciate it if you could call me so we could talk and I could make things right with you. Oh my God, his next text is really interesting. And Shane and Jeffrey tweeting too? Oh. Echo Radio, thank you for the $5. I love you so much. Please never stop your passion. You're so cute and funny. Watching your videos just brightens my day. Echo Radio, thank you so, so much. That is such a sweet message. Thank you so much. I'm so bored, said Adam for that. I have to go, Adam. I love you. Have a great night. I love you. Have a good night. He says, and Shane and Jeffrey tweeting too? This is crazy. You've been the one person who's always given me advice and told me to keep things offline. I understand why you're angry, but I'm trying to talk to you about it. And let's be honest. And I'm getting thousands of tweets. I can't. That's Emily Hardnock. Oh my God, you're a regular on these streams. Hi. Thank you for the donation. That is so, so sweet. So the fact that even back then, Monday, the April 22nd, 2019, he was in on the fact that he knew that Shane and Jeffrey were involved. And her husband, James. And so he then messaged Taddy's husband and said, um, can you please, oh my God, I thought that was a moth. Can you please have Taddy call me when she's done filming? And then he said, at 4 p.m. the next day, please call me. And he was ignoring her. Lilith said, the next YouTube detective. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Um, Megan, thank you for your donation. Been loving the streams. Thank you for watching, Megan, and thank you for your stream. She isn't his mom. She's his evil stepmom. <laughs> so the husband was also ignoring. And many phone calls as well, trying to reach them. All but just think, they were actively ignoring everything. Rebecca, okay, I'll see you. Oh, God, Shelby said, high school fucking bullies. <laughs> How much they did not respond to and later on that night while sitting in my hotel in San Francisco because I could not reach Tati, I issued a public apology directly. Okay, so he issued now a public apology, he said, because she was not responding to him. Let me read it out. It says, I want to publicly apologize to my close friend Tati. She has been like a mother. What is it with this keep referring to her as being a mother? You know what I mean? I don't get it. Rachel, oh my God, thank you so much for the $30. That is so generous. Love you. Have a good night. Wow, thank you so much, Rachel. I love the name Rachel, by the way. My cousin's called Rachel. <laughs> uh, Maria Martinez, thank you for the $5. Get Adam to 100k subscribers. Yeah, I'll check what we're at. But it's exciting. Thank you all so much for being part of the journey as well. We're at 95.1. Um, oh, my God. Oh, my God. Thank you for your donation. Um, yeah, what is it with keep calling a mother? It's weird. Adam is the new Judge Judy. I love that. Oh my God. I'm going to turn my icon on Twitter into me being Judge Judy. Thank you for giving my, that me that amazing idea. Who said that? Um, who said Adam is the Judge Judy? Oh, fuck. Um, Adam, is, Adam is Judge Judy. Who said that? Um, okay. Oh my God. I don't know how to pronounce that. I'm so sorry. Fuck. Um, thank you so much for that. I am actually going to note that down that I need to do that. Thank you for that incredible idea so annoying okay i screenshot it so i can remember <gasps> what a queen babe that's such a good idea thank you so much okay it's, sorry i keep getting started she's been like a mother to me since the first day in this industry and has given me love support resources and advice and more advice than i could ever ask for this weekend i did an instagram story for sleep vitamins that i've been taking okay he lied because the brand helped me with security when the crowd around me at Coachella became unsafe. I did not accept any money for the post. As most of, oh my God, sorry. As most of you know, Taddy has a vitamin brand which I take on a daily basis. But in the moment, I did not think about the competition, which was a major oversight. I've supported Taddy both online and offline. Like she has done so much for me 
and I'm truly devastated that I hurt someone who I truly love and have endless respect for. He did this publicly, you know what I mean? Mandy Monroe Preston, thank you so much. I'm like learning your name. Five dollars, thank you so much. I got I got work in the morning, so I have to hop off here. Wish you could stay for longer. I'm gonna keep this up so you can watch it after if you want to. Thank you for joining us. I really enjoyed having you here. And thank you for being a regular on here, Mandy Monroe Preston. And thank you so much. Oh my god, there's like a fly over there and it, it's like flying around in circles. You know what I mean? I'm not vibing with that at all. Taylor Smith, thank you for the donation. I'm from Australia. Oh my god. That's so cool. That's so dope. So always miss these, but finally caught this one. Congrats on 95,000. Thank you so much. Thank you for being part of that 95,000. And I'm so happy you're on this live with me. And finally, Lindsay, thank you so much for the $5. This is basically for your detective work through this whole drama and not being one-sided like other channels. Not on a payroll. Let me tell you that. <laughs> Honesty is the best policy. Thank you so much. So he did this publicly. Thank you so much. You and Peter Mon are my favorites. I have been, I've been talking to Peter recently. Peter is so sweet. On my Instagram because I am I streaming. Sure, I saw that I was sorry, um, and I wanted to Judge Judy be like baloney. <laughs> and the situation by taking full responsibility for my actions. Over the next several days, I made. I'm a regular. I know you are, Emily May. I see you. Is your mom watching? No, she's sleeping. She'll probably watch tomorrow though. She always watches the streams on the TV. So, if mom, if you're watching this on the TV, hello, future mom. Okay, so you're everything. You're everything. Peter's a sweetie. Yes, he is. So then he posted more screen screenshots. Like, he worked on this video. Like, he had to have a team behind him. So he says... Oh, my God. This is so rude. Okay. He texted um, James, Taddy's uh, husband, and said, Hello, can I please speak to you? And the husband responded and said, Not a good time, James. Dot, dot, dot. If there's something you really need to say, you can text and I'll respond later. Oh my god. That's so rude. So then he responded to the husband and said, hold on, let me actually set my webcam up here. So he responded to the husband and then said, I really want to take this opportunity to speak to you and Taddy in private about all this. It's blown far out of proportion. Like this per de James Charles. Like he thought this was it being blown out of proportion. I've been a regular since 25k. I know you have, David. Um, so James said, I want to talk to you and Taddy about this in private. It's blown far out of proportion and I don't want to lose a relationship with the two of you. Oh, he was so unaware. Bob Ross said, Miss Sinead, if you see this. Uh, they really are boomers, I agree. Love your stream so much. Thank you, Natalie. Um, you both mean the world to me and have taught me so much and I value that more than anything. I'm still sorry for hurting Taddy, but I also feel like cutting off an entire friendship, both privately and publicly, and not even talking about it, isn't fair to either of us. And I agree, he was still being so mature and all this. Sorry, it's like behind my screen. I respect both of your privacy and I'm sure Taddy still wants time. I'm leaving tonight for New York and then we'll be in Australia for a while. Now, if you think he was in Australia when Taddy did her video. Ugh. Ugh, he didn't know. Rough. Maddie Cake 100, thank you so much. I love you. Rewatch Never Doing This Again from Jack. I have. I actually did. I'm one of my last ones. Lisa G, thank you so much for the $10. Have a red bull on me. You know what? I will, and I will cheers to you, Lisa. Thank you so, so much. Luke said, it's like secondary school drama. I agree. So, and he said, and thank you for replying. Literally, James Charles thanked him for replying, and it was a snappy response. And then he respond he texted him again and said, can you please call me when she's done filming? Taddy, please call me. And then he respond he did a group text, and James Charles said, I'm in San Francisco today attending a few meetings, but still need to talk to you guys. Whatever you're, or whenever you're around and feeling updated, after everything we've been through together, I'm not losing your friendship over an Instagram story. Please call me so I can talk to you both. And I apologize. How bitchy do you have to be to like not even respond to him? You can see how hurt he is. In the, yeah, he literally went out of his way so many times. And then countless attempts to contact both Tati and her husband James on all their different phone this numbers. This is so weird. Like different phone numbers. Why do they have different phone numbers? That's weird. Ian called Tati's business number, her family number, and also James's personal phone number as well. After a full... He really tried so hard, and yet they... This is, like, annoying. 
an entire week of trying to reach out and handle things in private with Tati and her husband James and getting no response, I figured at this time it'd be best to just respect their space, give them their privacy, and that whenever Tati was ready, she would reach Like, he was so mature for that as well. He was trying so hard. Yes, he was, Swan Kelly. He was the most mature. He was, Ella Rose. I don't get why they didn't respond to him. It's so... Back out to me to handle things in private and hopefully move on with our friendship. <sighs> that is everything in regards to the Instagram stories. Now that we've no. talked about that, I want to discuss a few of the things in Tati's video that were misleading and false. The reason misleading and false. And now he's back to showing, I don't know if you can see this, her video. Uh -huh. James always said that he couldn't promote Halo on his channel and really do like, you know, oh my God, like he really called right for this. It was because he has a teenage audience and it would just be inappropriate. Now, this time was just confusing to me mostly because this conversation never actually happened. Um, if you guys know my channel, you would know that I don't really do dedicated product reviews ever, which is what Tati is known for. Ooh. But even though that is the case, I've still multiple times have talked about her products on all my social media networks. I have to word that. Okay. Oh my God. And then he literally shows proof. So I remember the first time I watched this, it was like, oh, look. Okay. I forgot to say two. Hello. I'm going to a really important event later on tonight. My no, best no, friend. We are going to. Yes, this is true. And this is a very important launch suite because it is my best friend, Tati. She's launching something new on Halo Beauty. Super proud of her. By the time this video is out, it'll already be up. So go and check it out. <gasps> Probably for Tati. Love you, Who doesn't need a little beauty boost every now and then? Oh my god. Two of the following statements are real claims made by the original Halo Beauty booster stuff. Oh my god, she was so light. My family are sleeping. Shut the fuck up, bitch. Her. Thank you so much for the donation again. I wonder if Taddy's husband wanted to talk to James, but Taddy was breathing down his neck. That could also be it, but also he could be like shitty. This bitch was so loud and fucking screamed, and my family are sleeping. Taddy, shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. Jesus Christ, she was so fucking loud for no reason. Oh my god, James Charles is so fucking loud as well. Y'all, it is fucking 3 a.m. Chill the fuck out. Okay, now he's showing that he did an um, Instagram. Like he, she literally just like full on light at this part. Like he literally called her out so hard. Whoa, he really freaking dragged her. Facts and receipts, but. One of the most hurtful things oh, no. Tati did in her video was bring up my mom and question her parenting. Ooh. By the way, everyone, I hope you're subscribed if you're on here because we're so close to 100,000. Also, please like the video, like the stream, because we're almost at 1,000 likes, so period. Period. Oh my god, yeah, I'm talking about the mother. No tears this time. My mom is the strongest woman I have ever met. She is kind, she is creative, and she is caring. She is a cancer survivor, and she- It's so weird that, like, he has to defend his actual mom when Taddy was pretending to be his mom. I'm so bored, said she does his mom because she wants to be his mom. Balances a marriage, a full-time job, and raising two boys with absolutely crazy lives. She's taught me so much in the past, and when I've made a mistake, she has never turned to public humiliation as a form of punishment. <sighs> That was so shady, but you know what? Just subscribe. Thank you so much, Onion. Yeah, everyone, please subscribe if you're subscribed. I want to check where we're actually at. Uh, oh my god, my shit is on here. Period. If you look on Twitter right after, I will make sure that I post that. Yeah, we are over 95.1 thousand, so please subscribe. Please, we're getting so close to 100,000. Please, please, please. And, like, make sure to tell your friends and your pets and your guinea pigs. I miss my guinea pigs so fucking much. 95k, I know. Thank you all so much. I'm so excited for when you had 100k. I'm so excited. I have something really big planned. Yeah, I'm so I'm so happy he called her out for this. He deserved to call her out for this. Oh, my God. There's, like, that fly is really annoying. Brittany Hill, thank you so much for the $10. I may be wrong here, but how did Jeffrey and Shane know about James being... I agree. Maybe they bought the hotel. It's so shady, Brittany. And thank you for your donation. Heth Turk again, thank you for your donation. No matter what, you should never bring in someone's mother, India. And I agree. And it's so... My cat will subscribe. Yes, make sure to get all your animals to subscribe. Make them new Gmail accounts and they can subscribe. I'm so happy that he called her out for this. All that being said, I love my mom and I think she's doing a damn good job. 
they do say so myself. Oh my god, that was like so aggressive. But you know what? It like deserved to be aggressive. Caitlin said, just on your channel, you're so young yet so wise. Gain a subscriber. Thank you so much, everyone who's subscribing. Last phone conversation. I have four cats, Nicole. They all better be subscribed. Conversation that James Charles and I had. He said Here. some things telling me about a situation. Rachel said, find you at 29K and now almost 100K. Thank you so much for being on the journey. That happened in Seattle at my birthday and it literally made me want to vomit. Oh my God, you tried to trick a straight man into thinking he's gay yet again and somehow you're the victim. You know, it's really disgusting to manipulate someone's sexuality, especially when they are still, you know, emerging into adulthood and don't quite... It's like, just the way she's speaking for other people. Something doesn't sit right. My sister's really sleeping beside me. I hope I didn't wake her up. Me too, Kim. Tell her to subscribe. I have everything figured out. Ella said, you got a thousand likes on this live. Thank you, everyone. Your fame, your power, your money to play with people's emotions. And you're she was doing wrong that. For to have them behave sexually in your favor, even if they're straight. And you know what? That's not okay. And how dare you laugh about it and make meme after meme and retweet and this and that. And I love straight boys. I love straight boys and make it a joke because this behavior is not normal. It's not. Okay. Do y'all think Taddy would have called him out for this if he hadn't done the fucking sugar bear hair? Let's have that conversation. Do you think Taddy would actually care about this straight boy shit if um, he had not promoted Sugar Bear Hair. Everyone's saying hell no. Yeah, I agree. The comments speak for themselves. Y'all, should I go for coffee in the morning? I'm like kind of dying to go to a coffee shop. I might do that. Okay. Anyway, sorry. Cracking someone's sexuality is not an escape room. Everyone's saying First no. Of all I'm okay, this is his response now, okay? I'm like, that's on period. Yeah, everyone's saying no. I'm a 19-year-old virgin. I talk about boys quite a lot on my social media networks. Clearly at this point, it is not acceptable anymore. We're talking about that in a little bit, I promise you. Um, but just thought I'd bring it up, put it out into the universe. I don't really get a lot of action. We have probably guessed this at this point. So that you know what's so funny? He says this in this video, and then in the Logan Paul, um, couldn't James sue Taddy for slander and stuff? I'm pretty sure she could, um, Heth Turk. And he responded to a comment in in a TikTok about like someone was like about defamation and stuff and like that, and everyone was like, "Oh my god, does this mean he's taking action?" But I don't think he's gonna come after Taddy because they're friends now. Uh, Brittany Hill, thank you so much. You know James may not be a saint, but it was sure as hell. And if, yeah, I agree. And thank you for your donation. So anyway, in Logan Paul's podcast, James was talking about how much action he gets. And it was, like, really weird. It was, like, it was so uncomfortable watching. Like, I get it. Like, live your life. Like, I'm so happy for you. But it was, it was so, like, uncomfortable to sit through. Yeah, he didn't have to tell anyone his, like, sexual status at all. Lucy Boots said, you're one of the brightest spots of 2020, period. Thank you. That's so sweet. That being said, I have never, and would never, and will never, use my fame, money, or power to manipulate or get any sexual actions from a guy. That is disgusting. It is not me. 2000 Kuni, thank you so much for your donation. I agree with your commentary. Thank you for watching. Thank you so much. And the fact that Tati brought this up blows my mind because she knows the real story. Um, the story that Ooh. He got a new haircut for this video as well. Alexa and Mary, thank you so much. She knows people online can say nasty things. And she knew it was in a bad place, leaves a bad... Yeah, I agree. Um, someone said subscribe. Yeah, everyone, make sure to subscribe to the channel. We're getting close to 100,000. He got a new haircut for this video if you watch. Look, skin fade. Good on you, James. Audrey, you've been working so hard. Thank you for this live stream. Yeah, I just wanted everyone to have like a chance to come on here and talk to each other and do this together. Someone's like, I'm so happy we get to do this together. Yeah, I want to include you. Thank you, Audrey. Jessica E, thank you so much. I still don't understand why James Charles forgave her. I know. And thank you for your donation, Jessica E. 
How do you always have clear skin? Everyone always thinks I'm wearing makeup. I'm sorry, I'm not. <laughs> what we're talking about here is a situation that happened when I was in Seattle for Tati's surprise party with a boy named Sam. Now, I'm going to tell you the full story since everybody seems to be leaving out mm. literally every single detail. In Tati's video, she mentioned that she was disgusted and had to apologize to her family for me apparently saying things that I wanted to do to a waiter and then- And he's doing this while he's saying that. Donna said, let's help this angel get a silver play button. Yeah, everyone, please, please subscribe. It would mean a lot. And tell your friends to subscribe. Your eyelids look like you have makeup on. Do they? I don't. I promise. Justifying those actions by saying, I am a celebrity. Okay, this literally did not happen. What did happen is that- Do y'all believe him? Do y'all believe James Charles? I won't say what I think. Do you all believe James Charles? Let me know. Give me your response. Lily, thank you. Rene, oh my god, you're regular. I know. I truly appreciate your hard work so much. My whole family is subscribed and love your channel as well. That's so cool. Can't wait for 100k evil twins. Thank you so much. Do y'all believe James? Yeah, I'm trying to understand where people stand right now. Y'all are about 95.2 thousand subscribers. Please share the link of the stream, subscribe, do what you want to do. We're getting close. Oh my god. 100k is like an insane number. Okay, everyone believes him. I believe him. I literally believe him. I think in this situation, like, there's a lot of shady people involved. But the way he handled it and the way he didn't hold anything back, I, 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 I agree. I understand and feel his pain. I don't understand and feel his pain. I mean, I understand like the situation in terms of like, I feel so bad for him. And I think he handled, it, I believe like 90%. Yeah, honestly, like there's probably some parts that he's twisted and stuff like that. But for the main parts, I think he's probably told the truth. Yeah, I would say it's pretty fair to say. I mean, he shows a lot of proof. Coming at it from like a proof point of view, he does. Everyone's saying definitely believe him. Me, Jeffrey, Nate, and my best friend Drew all flew to Seattle to surprise Tati for her birthday on February 14th. Jesus. In that same year, they did a surprise birthday for her and she still turned on them. That night, we went out to dinner with, them, with Tati and James and her whole family and were in a restaurant. There was a cute boy across the restaurant that I kept making eye contact with and that I was interested in. And the conversation of... It's so weird that he literally had to explain this. These are like private moments. Taddy's weird for this. Dating for me and Jeffrey both came up to the dinner table and we were talking about it for a very, very short period. Did he say him and Jeffrey? Hold on. Was Jeffrey there? There was a cute boy across the restaurant that I kept making eye contact with and that I was interested in. And the conversation of dating for me and Jeffrey both. Jeffrey, oh my God. I forgot Jeffrey was there. Wait. But Jeffrey was dating Nate. Why is Jeffrey talking about... Brittany Hill, thank you for the donation. Thank you so much. They took a video. Jar Jar and Nate were there. It's weird. Came up at the dinner table and we were talking about it for a very, very short period of time. The conversation never got inappropriate. Period. The boy that was involved with the story is named Sam. Now, when I originally wanted to do this video addressing everything, I did plan on crossing his name and keeping him completely private, but he has since come out and made a video of his own talking about the situation, just like Tati leaving out many, many details. Ooh. Oof, he fucking dragged. He really dragged. But in his video and in the screenshots that I have, Sam mentioned that he was perfectly fine and found the flirting that I was doing flattering. So I'm not really sure why this got turned into something Ooh. much bigger, but it simply was not. He was looking at me lit. Oh, so now he includes the waiter boy. So this is what the waiter boy looks like. Someone said watch Sam's video. I don't know if I could be bothered, honestly. Yo, make sure to subscribe. We're getting close to 90 or 100,000. Everyone's saying, yeah, subscribe. Okay, like, it only takes like a little second. Just subscribe, please. Pull us. I'll give you an internet hug if we come. Oh my God, I hated that. I'm so cringy. Okay. So this is the Sam boy and what he says. Waiter boy. 
He was a waiter boy. He said, see you later, boy. Sorry, I apologize for that. Later on that night, he started talking to the other employees. Who the fuck did this camera work? Who the fuck did the camera work for this video? I need to show y'all this. This is a fucking joke. Look at this. Watch this. Something much bigger, but it simply Being subscribed, thanks so much. Later Look at this on, camera work. You started talking to Are you fucking uh, kidding me? About me asking me if I if I had a Valentine. This is this was on Who Valentine's fucking day. did this camera work? Samboy is not hot. I don't think he's attractive. He especially thought that I was very attractive and he wanted to get my phone number and all that. But the wait staff at my restaurant really weird. Didn't let that happen. I subscribed to my second account. Oh my god, you snapped. Queen shit. My chair is so loud. I need to buy a new chair. You left and it kind of just went untalked about. The I'm a celebrity thing was a joke. Oh my god, there's a show called I'm a Celebrity. Um, my UK people will know. So good. Chloe said I gotta go. My phone's at 1%. Good night. It's really incredibly frustrating to me because this is an inside joke. Oh my god, he literally... Oh, he shows so many receipts. <sighs> I'm like kind of blown away. He's like, he's, so he's now proving the, oh my God, everyone's saying I'm a celebrity. He's now, he's now proving the point that saying so famous and famous is a joke and he literally shows, oh my God. Um, uh, Nico, Raymond, thank you for the $5. That is so sweet. Look, he literally shows, Jesus is so famous, I'm famous, they're famous, so famous, wow, you're so famous, so famous, I'm famous, Louis famous, sorry, I'm famous, you're so famous, famous in the house, famous, famous, oh my god, Kylie Jenner, <gasps> so famous of us, I know I'm famous, Liza Koshy, I'm famous, Grayson and Ethan, I'm famous, queen of being famous, famous, he really... Between my friends and I, that Tati has also participated in. <gasps> oh my god, he exposed Tati too. Tati said, or he said, you're so famous to Tati. And she said, ha 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 ha. Oh my god, he really dragged. And she twisted this to be something far worse than what it is. This is a joke that really is where we say, I'm famous, not I'm a celebrity. And it's something that we don't say in public very often because without context, I get it. It looks and sounds really, really bad. Trust is, me. Um, like her video we, really was just context that's the problem i can't her video was such like looking back damn it's me it's so bad oh my god by the way guys okay so yeah we're really close to 95.2k make sure to subscribe if you haven't is synonymous with anything good. So yeah, my YouTube video does well one day. My friends will say, oh my God, James, you're so famous. But literally if my friend takes a good Instagram photo, oh my God, you're so famous. Our boneless buffalo wings at Chili's are extra delicious one day. Oh my God, these wings are so, so famous. It has nothing to do. It's actually really creepy. <laughs> so famous. to do at all with fame, power, or money, which is what Tati alluded it to being. Even Tati doing that was so scummy. You know what I mean? Uh, like, I can't. That, it was just so bad. There was... I can't. Yeah, I can't believe that I believed her too. And it is so frustrating that she turned an innocent and funny inside joke that she has participated in into something so beyond disgusting. I'm going to try my best to make a long story very short. Thank you. The next day, Sam sent into my DMs first. When I okay, so Sam said, LOL, it's Sam. James said, OMFG. He said, LMAO. James said, how are you? Ha, 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 ha. James also said, sorry about last night. You're very, very attractive. This is crazy. Is this how people flirt? This is cringy. Sam said, it's all good. Very flattering. James said, love that. I did not think you were 19. I am too. He said, I look young. James said, I'll love that. Hannah, jo Hannah Jackson, sorry. Thank you so much for your donation, Hannah Jackson. Thank you so, so much. It's so sweet. Like, this is cringy. I happened to see him. 
We started talking back and forth, and he mentioned that he was flattered by me flirting with him the night beforehand. Sorry about last night. You were very attractive. Then I responded with, it's all good, very flattering, actually. A few minutes into the conversation, I asked about his sexuality, and he told me straight up that he was bisexual. Oh my god, you tried to trick- Oh my god, whoa, he played Taddy's video, and then him saying that over it. Oh my god, he really did not hold back. Woohoo. Someone said, is that how people flirt? Yeah, I don't understand, is that really how people flirt? Can This is uncomfortable. Uh, we have 95.1. Yeah, we're so close to 95.2 case. Yeah, make sure you subscribe, everyone. A straight man into thinking he's gay. There was no straight man being manipulated anywhere in the story like Tati mentioned. Later on in the Oof. conversation, he asked why I was leaving Seattle, and I told him the next morning, to which he responded, I wish we had time to hang out. And I said, hey, why don't you come over to my hotel tonight? We can Ooh. watch a movie together. Ooh. He said, sounds lovely. Oh, my God, you're a regular. Sorry I'm late. You know what? The party is beginning now because Lovely's here. Good. Later on, he messaged me first and told me, hey, straight up, I've never done anything with a guy before. I'm a little bit nervous. Um, Sorry, I'm reading these. Okay, I was just reading them. There was absolutely no pressure. This is all shown in the screenshots. Sam showed up at the hotel. We watched the movie together and we cuddled. After the movie, I asked him if he wanted to kiss, to which he said yes. I get to the hotel room. We say hi. Didn't the Sam boy go like he's the worst kisser ever? Like, I think PewDiePie, yeah, PewDiePie was the one who was like, oh my god, tee hee 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 hee, drama. Like, there was no need for the Sam boy to be like, it's all fine. If that's how people flirt, I'm getting nowhere. <laughs> Same. We ended up watching a movie, and after that movie, he asked to kiss me. I said yes. We ended up making out for around an hour. Do people, like, make out for an hour? <laughs> I can. Half Turk, it's like Boston with all of his tea. Thank you for your donation. How do you make up for an hour? I can. Information, uh, warfare. Thank you for the donation, rest and power. Thank you so much. Yeah, Maggie said, bro, my mouth would get so tired and sore. And all your, like, I'm like, <laughs> so, well, guess they don't need to breathe, Casey said. Yellow said, I'm drawing Adam and watching this. Oh my God, I'm so excited to see it. And all your, okay. And if I'm being honest, he's the worst kisser I've ever kissed. Way too much time. All right, note taken. <laughs> <laughs> he was, he was, oh, he was funny for that. That was actually really funny. Look, look at the way James handled this. You know what? Let's look at this. Honest, he's the worst kisser I've ever kissed. Way too much time. All right, note taken. Um, after the. <laughs> Oh, that was so funny. Oh, that was really good. I know Sam for over an hour. I did invite him to sleep over at the hotel. And he kept telling me to stay, like, please stay, please stay, don't leave me. All this and that, but I really wanted to go home. So I left. Of course, I wanted to spend more time with him, but he said that he wanted to go home and be in his own bed and think about everything that was going on because it was quite a lot, and I definitely understood and did not blame him. Um, Everyone's seen the note taken. <laughs> I think his response was really funny. Lee, thank you for the donation. That is so, so sweet. Thank you, Lee. Yeah, he was he he planned that response good. Brittany Hill, thank you for the donation. Correct me if I'm wrong, but doesn't that Sam guy have a YouTube channel and is getting a good amount of views? Does he? I don't even know who he was. <laughs> thank you for your donation. He then left and sent me a message afterwards. Thank you for being so honest. Sam said, good night. Thank you for everything. James said, it was a pleasure meeting you. I would have loved to fall asleep in your arms, but maybe next time... Ugh. Sam said, you're too sweet. Maybe there will be a next time. 
James said, one can hope. It's a short flight away. <sighs> this is so awkward. <laughs> Is this how people flirt? I don't flirt with people. But is this how people do it? Is this what I need to like be taking my notes down? Oh my god, I just want to read that one more time. Sam says, good night. Thank you for every." <laughs> good night. Thank you for everything. James says, it was a pleasure meeting you. I would have loved to fall asleep in your arms. But maybe next time. Sam says, you're too sweet. Maybe there will be a next time. James says, one can hope. Ah, fuck. Oh, Brittany, thank you for telling me the name. I will look up if he's... Fuck, I stopped cringing at that. That's probably one of the worst things I've ever read. Oh my god, that made me so uncomfortable. I'm so uncomfortable. Sam... Crooks or Cook, or Sam Cook. That's him? No, that's a singer. Hold on. Yo, I'm cringing to fuck. Wait, I can't find him. Girl, I'm trying. Girl. Sam Cooks. Girl, he's not coming up. Your mom, the effort was there. I searched. Damn, this is so cringy. This is like awful. Someone said this is worse than a Watt Pat. <laughs> Fan sick. Understanding and I told him that. Oh my god, I can't believe he's showing these screenshots. This is so awkward. You death room if you need literally everything. Point being, everything that happened in the hotel room was 100% consensual, and this is confirmed. I said yes. Yeah. By the only two parties that were actually there being myself Oof. and Sam. Right. After this night, Sam and I continued to talk for the next several weeks. At first, it was really, really great, but I noticed that his feelings towards me and sexuality were kind of wavering quite a lot, and I came to the conclusion that he needed to figure himself out and that I needed to move on because I kept getting hurt. Last important note to keep in mind about the timeline of the whole situation. On May 2nd, Sam texted me from his friend's phone saying that he was fully gay and needed to talk to me about something important. <sighs> okay. I have a lot of reading I today. Heth Turk, thank you. Search Sam James. Oh, yeah, I'll do that. Thank you. Okay, so Sam James Charles. Woman as a woman as a woman as a boy, don't try to I'm the justice, but you are. Boy, don't He's still not coming up. I'm a... Okay, I'm gonna read these things out. Okay? Fuel addiction. Oh my god, you're a regular. I hope my fiance doesn't leave me because I'm staying single for life. <laughs> okay, so the hey, it's Sam. You were right. I am gay. I was closeted because my because of my friends knowing. Lucy Boots, thank you so much for the donation. Nathan says, imagine kissing Jeffrey. Buddy James, no taken. <laughs> um, I want to talk if it's not the right time. Uh, say no if it's a no, but I thought I'd let you know. James said, I'm really happy for you that you've really found yourself and came to terms with it. That isn't easy, and I'm proud. After everything that happened between us right now, I have a lot of things going on in my life I need to work on fixing, and I'm not taking the time or energy to try work on something I didn't want to get hurt anymore. And then Sam said, it's Sam, can you talk? And he said, I told you earlier, your number was unblocked. Why are you calling me from your friend's phone? I called him, and instead of talking about that, he asked me if I was talking to another guy at the same time that I was talking to him. Why do you need I to know this? I was confused as far as being asked this, but I did answer him honestly, and then I asked him what made him come to conclusion with everything. To which he said, I'm actually not fully gay. She also said, James Charles doesn't flirt gently. <laughs> More like with the sledgehammer. I've been dealing with this a million times. I was frustrated and I hung up. Just to clarify, so there are no further questions, the point of including the screenshot is not to out Sam. Sam texted me saying he was fully gay, but it was a trap to get me on FaceTime so we could illegally record the conversation <gasps> to include a video that he was planning later on. Like I said, at the, <gasps> the conversation, I asked Sam how he came to this conclusion, and then he told me he was not fully gay, to which I hung up out of frustration. 
later on, he texted me saying he was confirmed by. This is why in Sam's video, he included a screenshot of me telling him I did not think he was fully straight. This comment had a lot of people really upset and confused as to why I was telling somebody their sexuality, but there's a very simple explanation. Sam and I talked for a very, very long time and his sexuality, like I said, wavered a lot. Every time that he was a little bit confused, we had open and honest conversations about it and he always asked me my input and I gave it to him. I would never out somebody and I have never ever tried to manipulate somebody's sexuality, including his, point blank period. The whole situation that happened with Sam was <sighs> Oh my God. Very, very long and complicated and left both of us very hurt and confused. And through trying to do this, I reached out to many of my different friends for advice. Um, there was one night in my kitchen where Tati, James, and Gabriel all came over and I told them the same exact story and told them the same. Tati said, you're supposed to hook up with the waiter, not marry them. Tati said that. Same exact screenshots that all of you guys just saw. After hearing this, like Tati said in her video, Tati and James actually did have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation with me about the boys that I get involved with. They told me that talking to curious guys was going to continue to get me hurt, and that also, it could look really, really bad from an outside perspective if somebody tried to manipulate the situation. Mm -hmm. and for me, this was a major, major wake-up call that I took to heart, because I honestly had never thought about it in any other way, because I knew that everything that I was doing was always consensual between both me and the boy, and I had receipts to back it up, but I wish I knew at the time that Tati's advice was really a warning, because... Ooh, he said it, like really how it is he wishes he knew that taddy's like heart to heart was a warning oh damn she did exactly what she told me someone else may which was tell my story <gasps> with no detail He's no calling facts, right. and no proof and twist it around and now serious allegations have surfaced that could permanently damage my career no <gasps> Faye said, all I'm asking is Renee here. Yeah, Renee was fucking queen. Thank you, Faye, for the donation. Oh, like I said, the talk that happened in my kitchen, I really did appreciate because it was the first time I kind of took a step back and was able to analyze what was going on. Um, and this week has been a major eye-opener for me as well. I want to take a brief moment to talk about boys. Um, okay. Right. Boys have obviously been a topic that has been discussed quite in detail on my YouTube channel and the social media networks, this is no secret. Um, I wish it hadn't been, but if I'm going to talk about it one last time, I definitely want to be open and honest with you guys, the ones who matter. I. This wasn't the last time we talked about it, though. I came out of the closet as gay at age 12, which is honestly really, really young to kind of figure all of that out. Um, I had two other boys in my school at the time who were gay, but we were all close friends, so nothing was. If you're wondering what that noise is, it's my brother walking upstairs in his room, and our house is really old, so it's really creaky. Why is he awake? It's 4 a.m. Happening there, Why are you awake? I mean? But all my other friends were having their first kiss underneath the playground slide or getting into their first relationship and talking all about it. Yeah, this and is deep. for me, I was on Pop Tropica and social media networks trying to make friends and trying to find out what else I was interested in. I that, that hit deep. Um, Naina, thank you so much. Off topic, have you seen Gage's ex video? I, I've heard of it. I tried watching it, but I gave up. Like, this is, this is really sad. Like, what he's saying is super true. Got the opportunity to experiment with love and learn from that as a yeah. growing teenager. And I think that that's honestly left me kind of underdeveloped as a person in a lot of different ways. I, I agree with him. Very, very quickly because of the job that I work at. Brittany, thank you for the donation. Okay, I think I got it wrong, but the gauge is on social media, but I didn't see his channel. Yeah, it's not popping up. Thank you for your donation, by the way. Yeah, which I know I've said a million times beforehand, but love and relationships is something that I have barely any experience in. Oh my god, that's me. I have I have no experience at all. Adam tells brother to go to sleep because it's 4 a.m. Yeah, Adam awake. <laughs> and I, honestly I relate to James and what he's saying here, one hundred percent. That others may be in the situations that I get myself into. Mm -hmm. um, I definitely am emotional, and I let that get the best of me sometimes. I can be dramatic. I'm reactive. Single teams. I'm forward. I'm flirty, and these are qualities that I'm not necessarily proud of at all. It's sad that he has to apologize for this. With each experience, I'm learning more and more, and I've been able to better myself, but. A lot of times these situations have become public, my own fault, my own fault, but 
having millions of people watching you learn can be very He didn't even do, need to take accountability for that right. part. When it comes to experiences that I've learned from in the past, a lot of times I've talked about being into straight guys. Now, this conversation Ooh. has upset and also confused quite a lot of people. So in order to provide a little bit more context, I would like to play a clip from Tati's friend at Jeffree Star's video titled The Truth. Oof. Tati's friend, Jeffree Star. Oof. Fuck, 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 fuck. Oh my god. <sighs> that is so shady. Truth about my relationship. I was single for a long time, and the reason why is because I. I can't believe he, like, a proper shows a Jeffrey video. <sighs> so. Really Jeffy looks horrible here. He literally looks so bad me. here. Like, look at that. Anyways, chill. Anyone but what we call in this world as a straight. By the way, everyone, I see people being like, oh my god, make sure you're subscribed. Yeah, make sure you're subscribed. I'll see if we're getting any closer to um, if I true. Um, yeah, we're getting really close. So make sure you're subscribed. See, I advise. I think it's everything. Males. Emily said Jeffrey always looks bad. Or a normal dude. And what I mean by that is like, you know, I am really into guys. And I know that is going to not be surprising to a lot of you. It's really funny that he's using this clip against Jeffrey because this is what Jeffrey accused James of. So, you know, from just traveling everywhere and meeting dudes all the time and being around that world for so long, Oof. I really kind of fell into a trap. Casey, are you stoned? No. Trap of always being someone that was kept like the secret. And when you are someone like me who is, you know, I get asked all the time, even every day on my channel, you guys, I get comments, are you a guy? Are you a girl? Are you transgender? Are you trying to transition? What are you? Being someone that is like me, that is a guy that looks like a woman, right? I keep doing this because so many people are not into labels these days, and I love that. I'm all about that. You do you. Call yourself whatever you want, whatever you believe in. I think that is the beauty and the freedom of, you know, living is we can be whoever we want to be. I've always been into straight men. And The problem with that my entire life is I never found real love because straight men behind closed doors, they love people like me. They love hooking up. They love having fun. They love the relationship as long as other people don't know. I really like... How was this clip allowed on the internet while Jeffrey was accusing James of this shit? This clip from Jeffrey's video because not only is everything in it very accurate, but I honestly feel like he did a great job of explaining a topic that is very confusing and complex. And oh my god, the way he's using Jeffrey to explain it. Oh my god, this is so awkward. Oh my god. Oh, he really did a reverse card. Holy shit. Oh my god. Oh my god, I can't. That was so good. Holy shit. Not a lot of people understand, including me fully, to be honest. Yes, as a gay man, I am attracted to men. And in the past, whenever I have found a guy cute on Instagram or on social media, I have slid in the DMs with a simple hello or a nice compliment. If anybody ever made it clear that they were not interested or were not gay and didn't want to talk, I always apologized for the unwanted attention and the conversation was put to a halt immediately. I do take full responsibility for sending these messages, and this situation has definitely taught me that sending messages that are so forward and direct like this are unacceptable, and I no longer will do that moving forward. A few. This is what you do when you're taking accountability. This. Two different guys that I've talked to in the past have since came forward with their stories or posted screenshots of conversations that I had with them saying that I made them feel uncomfortable. And reading some of them, I honestly felt really, really bad. I reached out to all the boys directly and apologized to them for my action. So he reached out before and now he's addressing it in this video because this is what you do. You do it privately, then you do it publicly. Ah. Bye. I see people are saying they have to go. Bye, bye, bye. But aside from those few guys, People are treating hashtag James Charles' over party as an opening. Paisley, did you just ask, am I posting a video after this? Bitch, I'm doing a two hour live stream for you. <laughs> I posted two videos today. Paisley, you asked again, are you posting more?
bitch, I posted two, three videos today and I'm on a two hour live stream for you. It is 4 a.m. No is your answer. Within the past week, I've posted 50 videos. Within the past two weeks, I've posted like 87 videos. I've also done three two hour live streams, each two hours, and then like three other ones that were like an hour. No, you can wait tomorrow for more videos. <sighs> invitation to add to the narrative with lies, which is not only harmful to me, but. Kat, thank you for your donation. Very proud of you. Thank you so much. Remember to sleep and drink water. I will. Thank you. It's also creating very, very dangerous stereotypes around the I'm not mad at anyone. I'm making a joke. For example, Zara Larson, who's a. <gasps> oh my god, he was so good for. Um, doing this. Okay, so he posted about Zara Larson and was basically um, Zara Larson had like went into someone's um, DMs, kind of like how James would, and they were like not attacking her. It was like she like got a bunch of like public so social media like things from it. Paisley, I'm joking. Pretty big singer tweeted saying that I messaged her boyfriend multiple times. Oh yeah, I forgot she did this. <gasps> Zara Larson quoted the tweet and said, I'm cackling because he hit up my boyfriend in the DMs several times knowing damn well he's straight. Why did this celebrity Zara Larson like get involved? <laughs> Definitely don't have to use 1.5 speed for, Jam or for James's video. <laughs> Why did she get involved? And her tweet has so many likes. ...times knowing he was straight. And this tweet got almost half a million likes before... Yeah, it got 500,000. ...before it was deleted. In her defense, she did later on say that it was only one message, but it was way too late because the media had already read with it saying... James literally DM'd her boyfriend and was like, you're really hot. That was it. ...that I was harassing straight men and wouldn't leave him alone. Had I known that he was dating Zara Larson, I clearly never would have messaged him in the first place. But this is all very hypocritical considering this. <gasps> oof, 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 oof. Look, okay. This is a tweet from Zara Larson. Who are you? Where do you live? How old are you? Why are you so fine? How do you like your eggs cooked in the morning? Oh my god, and he really like proves the point that if he had tweeted this, he would have been cancelled. Is how Zara Larson found her boyfriend. I'd like to pose a question to you, the audience, and ask why is it okay for Zara Larson, a woman with a public Good night, Catherine. platform, to tweet these photos of a Charlotte man and say, Who are you? Where do you live? How old are you? Why are you so fine? How do you like your eggs cooked in the morning? Mm. But for me, as a gay man, to DM the same person in private with a simple compliment is predatory. Oof. Oof, oof, oof. Irene, thank you so much for the donation. Adam, please go to sleep in your dumb stream. We really care about your health. Thank you so much. I will. Thank you so much. He really dragged. These stereotypes around gay men have been and continue to be very, very harmful to the community and have been historically used to villainize gay men in society. Someone completely fabricated a whole entire story about me touching another boy at a high school urinal. And it blew up. This person that came forward a few days later saying that it was a social experiment. But it was too late. People also completely photoshopped Twitter DMs of me reaching out to these people, threatening legal action if they were to tweet more things. But in reality, I have literally not even met on social media. And I deleted the Twitter app from my phone. So all these things are just so false and are so fake. And it's truly disgusting. Also, this is so harmful. Brittany Hill, thank you so much. I think there falls a template in his apologies. I agree. I agree, because they're way too similar. Every boy that I've ever even communicated with at this point is posting screenshots of our conversation to make a spectacle of me. I've dealt with so many fake stories in the past from Coachella, the fake sex tape, and now this, and I'm done. 
I'm done of being the subject of these bandwagon stories for likes. It's not okay. Now that we've addressed and cleared the air on the boys, let's get back to our timeline because somehow there's still a whole lot more to this story and more claims as well. <sighs> In Tati's video, she said that she felt she needed to bring all this to the public eye because people needed to know what's going on behind the scenes. And I truly cannot believe that I'm about to bring up... Jasmine, thank you for the donation. I feel so uncomfortable. I feel the exact way. On Monday, May 6th, Jeffrey posted this tweet to his Twitter, which I instantly started getting tagged in. After this... Basically, Jeffrey tweeted and said, Who else has a draft folder full of tweets they wish they could send out? I want to keep it so real sometimes about the behind the scenes in the beauty community, but I'll let karma do its thing like it always does. And all the replies are, this is about James Charles. And a few other ones from him and his friends. I decided to reach out to him and ask if there was something going... Oh my god, okay. So he now shows... About... Um... What he sent Jeffrey. Keep in mind, Jeffrey just subtweeted him. He said, Why am I getting tagged in your tweet a million times? What's, so, what's going on? Can we talk when you get a second? Can you FaceTime me a second, please? It won't take long. And Jeffrey said... So keep in mind, this is like big balls, Jeffrey, like the one that was doing all these subtweets. I can't talk right now, but I'll hit you up later when I'm free. I don't know what is happening with you and other people, but I hope it can be fixed for the sake of us all. He is so fake. Amy, good night. He is so, so fake. James responded, okay, I'll be at the Mets, so I don't know when I'll be able to respond to you, but I need to talk to you soon going on that I should be aware of. He replied to me and he said that it was not about me and that it was about another brand stealing his ideas. This message was in a voice memo which has since disappeared from the screenshot. So Jeffrey literally lied to him. Uh, All bark and no bite. Mm -hmm. You just have to believe me. I have literally no reason to lie at this point. Even though he said it wasn't about me, I still asked to talk to him, but he said he was unavailable. A few hours later, while I was getting ready for the Met Gala, I got this text from Jeff. <sighs> Jeffrey sent him a text and says, we definitely need to talk soon. Taddy and Shane and a few others have told me what you have said about me over the last six months. He is so manipulative. I am heartbroken, disgusted, and so sad to hear everything, but shockingly not surprised. I only have ever been a great friend to you and never said anything bad about you behind the scenes, which is obviously not the case for you. I can't get over this. Jeffrey is literally the worst person ever. And also the fact that he's referencing Taddy and Shane with being involved. Taddy and Shane have told me things. James responded and said, let's definitely talk. I do not talk about you behind your back and have not talked to Shane literally at all the last six months. I appreciate your honesty and don't want to have a problem with you. I respect you a lot and anything you think... I said, I will be totally upfront about it because we can discuss like adults. I'll be home tomorrow in LA from 2 to 8 tomorrow. Then I fly to Australia for a week. Now, keep in mind, everyone says about how Jeffrey loves doing these drama ends when the people he's attacking are away from their time. Manny MUA was on a business trip. James was going to Australia. Then I fly to Australia for a week. If you're available, let's get together and talk in private. Concerned, but mostly really, really confused. I reached out to him about meeting together in private in hopes to speak together and figure out the best understanding, but he didn't reply. Three days later, Jeffrey fucking... Still no response. I decided to reach out again. So he texts Jeffrey... And says, hey, let me know if you have an hour free later and I'll pop over before we go to the airport so we can talk before he went to Australia. Do you have a few minutes free to FaceTime, he said. Jeffrey said, I'll try later. This is my only day off in Michigan with Nate's family. James said, totally understand. Enjoy your day off. You deserve it. I would really like to talk to you soon, even if it's only for a few minutes. I'm going through a lot right now. I'm not doing well. And you've been one of the few people in this industry I can trust Ooh, and talk to. And I don't want to lose that. I'd like to fix things if possible, or at least have an honest conversation about it. But he was not available to talk. I flew to Australia on May 8th and on May 10th, hours before my scheduled meeting. Yeah, this was messy. He was supposed to do a meet and greet. And then this video came out. 
parents were 5,000 fans were already waiting outside. Mm -hmm. I was woken up at four in the morning by my friend because Tati had just uploaded her video titled by sister. Watching Tati's video, it was very clear to me that my friend was still very hurt. And even though I had already apologized mm -hmm. both privately and publicly, I wanted to make the video right then and there with my raw and honest emotion. But because of the time difference, it took me an extra few hours to film the video and get it up. And by the time I was about to hit publish, I received yet another text. <sighs> This is where it gets so bad. Jeffrey texted him and said, are you going to respond to anything or pull a Manny 2.0? Keep in mind he was in Australia. When you basically trapped Sam in your hotel room in Seattle and forced him to stay and made him feel horrible. Um, oh my God, information where, or warfare. Thank you so much for the $5. I don't know what it's worth there, but hey, for a coffee or candy bar, maybe some fruit. You deserve it so much. Thank you for the smells. That's so sweet. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thanks. That's so generous. Or made him feel horrible for the pennies you spent on the room. I knew something was terribly wrong with you. When Zach showed me the Snapchat messages of you trying to force him to like you and send him photos, it was completely horrifying to see you use the same sentences as a would use. He was so grossed out by your behavior and the way that you tried to make him feel bad for not reciprocating the same feelings. Jeffree Star. I've already cleared up Sam and our rights together being 100% consensual. He was absolutely not trapped in a hotel room. But Jeffrey also brings up Zach. Zach is his boyfriend, Nate's brother. And not only did I not pursue Zach, who identifies as mainly straight, but it was actually Jeffrey who suggested that I talk to him in the first place. Hey, Nate's brother is single and mainly straight. All right up your alley. Sounds good. And he <laughs> Sounds great for me. Uh-huh. And uh, he just moved here. Where? Zach and I talked. <gasps> oh my god, he literally fucking exposed. Fuck, this video is oof, oof. Snapchat for maybe a total of ten selfies back and forth to each other. He was super, super sweet, but it was very clear to me that he was not actually interested, and the conversation stopped before anything could even get remotely flirty at all. Um, with everything going on, I did not reply to Jeffrey's text in the moment. A few days later, on Monday, I woke up again in the middle of the night from a phone call from my little brother, Ian, who was very, very upset. He told me he had tweeted saying, why do people act so tough online about somebody from his hometown who was bullying him? And Jeffree Star, of all people, had quote tweeted Ian's tweet saying, why is your <clears throat> Fuck. This was so bad. Brother a predator. Why did you really move back to New York City? Exactly. Shut the fuck up. Many people were quick to call Jeffrey for bullying a kid who had nothing to do with the situation literally at all, and he deleted the tweet. After this, I went to check my phone and noticed that Jeffrey had texted me a few minutes prior, and I opened my phone to this. I really want to read this text oh, no. out loud, just so you all get to I'm hear like getting I bumps. to read, um, but also so I don't miss anything. God. Grayson is going on camera shortly to finally tell the world how you tried to molest him and touch him in his sleep and made him uncomfortable for months, you sick motherfucker. Next, Zach will be going on camera to tell how twisted and sick you were, trying to get him to like you and then make him feel bad when he didn't want to send you photos back. Then Sam from Seattle will be joining me and Cameron to talk about you trapping him in his hotel room. You need to be locked in prison for a very long time. You need the internet taken away from you. You are a danger to society. As this Kelly. Kelly, thank you for your donation. Thank you so much for the ten dollars. That is so generous. I love your videos. Hope this donation gets you more Red Bull. It will. Thank you so much. Just know that you'll be in the process of me getting my. So, so Jeffrey's a, a monster. I feel bad for even blaming. Yeah, and I am on the same boat. I can't believe Jeffrey was like, "Oh, and then these people will be joining me." Like, why are they joining you to make a video? I'm I can't I'm like disgusting as it is I have to
to admit, bringing up Grace and Dolan was pretty clever. At the height of all these allegations and stories going around, both of the twins unfollowed me, not wanting to be associated, and fans started speculating that the rumors could be as to why. Uh, too bad that aside from- Please don't speculate, everyone. Please do not. Our pre-planned collaborative jokes that happened in the Sister Squad videos with me and Grace and Flirty, nothing ever happened between us. And when all this went down, I knew Jeffrey was lying because the twins were two of the first people to call me and make sure that I was okay. I already mentioned Zach, and I still have no idea who the camera that Jeffrey's referring to in this message is, but he also brought up Sam last, who we also already talked about. Later on that day, though, Jeffrey was right. Sam did upload a video to his YouTube channel telling the whole story. He left out almost all the details and included an illegally recorded FaceTime call, which was- I can't get over this. Like, he literally called him so that he could include it. Oh my god. On May 2nd, I told you to remember that. But even through all of this, he still managed to get the point across that our interactions were 100% consensual. Next was Jeffrey's tweet to my little brother Ian. Now, mm. I did say that this video was going to be solely based on facts, and I, of course, can't prove what Jeffrey was trying to imply here, and I don't want to put words into his mouth. But since it's now open for speculation, might as well clear the air. He actually went home for a few different reasons, but it's temporary. He had to get his wisdom teeth taken out, and he's also working on different modeling opportunities in New York City. There is no reason for him to have to talk about this. At all. And I am so incredibly proud of him. But he was also having a really, really hard time in LA. Dealing with a public breakup and negativity online sent him into diagnosed clinical depression, which he is now being treated for, and he wanted to be with my parents. Nothing more. Last but finally not least, Jeffrey posted this tweet claiming he hadn't seen me since February. Okay. The tweet from Jeffrey says, There is a reason that Nathan banned James Charles from ever coming to our home again. There, there's a reason why I haven't seen him since Taddy's birthday in February. He is a danger to society. Everything Taddy said is 100% true. and that Nate banned me from their home. Now, this so-called ban is the first time I'm ever hearing of this, and I just think it's really funny that Jeffrey brought this up, considering the fact that he's tweeted me twice. Oof, since then. In between February and now, saying that he missed me. Um, regardless, he ended that tweet by saying, I was a danger to society, and everything in Tati's video was 100% true. Adding insult to injury, not only did Jeffrey text me, but he also went out of his way to text my best friend, Drew, this lovely message. Oh my god, so Jeffrey texted James's best friend and said, this, Jeffrey is... Oh my god. How do you sleep at night knowing that you enable and support... Uh... I'm going to show you instead of saying, okay? Hopefully you seek help very soon and get away from that monster. Oh my god, I want to say monster. I won't. It's the wrong time. When he trapped that boy in his hotel room in Seattle and you didn't care about it, I knew you didn't have a soul either. Trying to turn him against me. Jeffrey's messaging about me both in private and in public was hurtful, defamatory, extremely excessive, but most importantly, literally all based on lies. I wish I knew why he was doing all this, but at the same time, his track record with public feuds makes none of this a surprise. Ooh, fuck, drag. Tati made a video telling stories about me and publicly humiliating me, and now I have serious allegations against me that could be detrimental to my career. Hello, future James, you're popping in again. Um, I've been completely honest with my whole timeline thus far, and I obviously want to keep doing so, so I feel like it is only fair to mention that only within the past few days, pretty much everyone involved with this situation has started to reach out to me um, in some way, shape, or form. Um, Sam Cook, the boy from Seattle, has called me nine times and sent me a few different text messages about the situation and trying to make things right. Um, Tati and her husband James have tried to reach out in order to schedule a meeting, but only through a mutual... YouTube rep that we share. <laughs> what the fuck? What the fuck? 
Taddy was okay. She's literally insane. I'm drawing you for my art homework while I watch this. Oh my god, please show me after. How the fuck is Taddy gonna like literally almost ruin his life and then be like, we can talk, but through a YouTube rep? Like, I don't get it. Schedule a meeting? You fucking bitch. Audrey, again, thank you so much. You're such a champ to pull through and watch this with us. I hope you get some rest after this. Please take care of yourself. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Audrey. I can. Reach. Hold on. Do y'all fucking hear this? Reach out in order to schedule a meeting, but only through a mutual a meeting. YouTube rep that we share. Um, and I but through a YouTube rep. I also heard from that same person that Jeffrey was open to a meeting as well. Isn't it ironic how it was just Taddy and Jeffrey to do meetings? Like, they didn't want to, like, meet up. They wanted to do meetings. Um, this whole thing has just been really difficult for me because throughout the past three weeks, literally all I've wanted and all I've asked for was for communication from these people. And I tried really, really hard to get that. Um, and I didn't. So I declined the meetings because I felt like this was started publicly and it was addressed publicly. Period. Period. He made such a good point there. You know what I mean? My opinion on Tay is completely changing after watching these videos even more. Oh my god, guys, we're literally three subscribers away from 95.2 thousand. We're three subscribers away from 95.2 thousand. Oh my god. We're getting so close. So make sure to subscribe if you haven't. Make sure to tell your friends, your pets, your Gmail accounts to subscribe. We're getting so close. Thank you so, so much. Oh my god, we we hit it! Oh my god, we literally- it went up 15. Oh my god, yeah, everyone- okay, so there's like people on this who obviously aren't subscribed. Everyone dance. <laughs> oh my god, thank you everyone subscribing, it's going up. Please subscribe everyone, there's 1.3. I know most of you are subscribed, but please subscribe. Yeah, it keeps going up, thank you all so much. Thank you everyone. Okay. And I felt like it was only fair for me to address it publicly as well um, before meeting. I agree. He made so. Thank you, everyone. You're also sweet. He made such a good point. This was started publicly. Why are we not doing it privately? Because they're not getting backlash. They want to do. It. Hmm. Talking further. Um, that sucks to say because I still have love for these people. And I hope that one day we all can sit down together in a meeting for closure and also to discuss how... Could you imagine how messy that would be? In the future, if problems... Y'all, please stop speculating about the voice memo and stuff like that. It's not our place. But uh, right now, I just need time and space to kind of get my head back to where it needs to be and get my mental health back together before I kind of rekindle those friendships. Mm -hmm. um, because everything that happened still really, really hurt. And I, I like wouldn't wish what I went through upon even my worst enemy, no matter how angry I was. I have always tried to use my platform to spread positivity, but I feel like at this point it's my responsibility to be honest with you guys and tell you that the last few weeks of my life has literally been the most painful time that I've ever had to deal with. And my head and brain for a, a hot minute, went to a place so dark that I didn't think that I was going to come back from. And I, that, I can't believe I just admitted that on camera. Um, people always say that really being sad. a influencer is an easy job. And this is something that I've talked about time and time and time again on YouTube, we get it. But I don't think any human being ever is prepared mentally or physically to deal with the, the pain and anxiety of what it feels like to have millions and millions of people attacking you at one time. Having to read the hundreds of thousands of tweets and the YouTube videos and the articles 
about me and my character and my family based on things that were almost all lies, like, it messed me up. It messed me up is the best way that I can put it. And through all of this... Shada said it right. This is so sad. This was over vitamins and follower kinds. There's always room at the table if people are... Yeah. I agree. I've learned that if I can get through this, I can get through anything. Joining in on Bama... Well, I'm glad that he has that right now. Like, he has that feeling nice. I can hate and cancel culture is incredibly, incredibly toxic. And it's very He's made his opinions on cancel culture very clear, and I fully disagree with him on this. Like... I'm allowed to disagree with him. He, he basically, he went on Logan Paul as well, and he was basically saying, like, cancel culture is the worst thing. It's just sheeple trying to get likes and stuff like that. And for someone who's been called out so much and has grown from that, I don't understand how someone like that can then say that cancel culture is so toxic. Like, I un understand what it did to him, but that was cancel culture in terms of on another thing. Taking accountability, that side of cancel culture is different. You know what I mean? Hmm. Never sits well with me. Very concerning to me that as a society, we're becoming okay with guilty until proven innocent. I agree with him there. He's talking about, like, allegations and stuff. Allegations and stuff. Can't set out the other way around. I truly hope that everyone who participated in this, whether it be fans, influencers, drama channels, or credible news sources, take the time to think about your. Someone said not all cancel culture is. Yeah, I agree. I assure you, and I promise you, it's a lot stronger than what you may think. Right now, I have a lot of positive changes that I want to work on. In my this is this is the good of any like. What more can you ask from someone than just admitting that they're going to do better? You know what I mean? He's doing everything so right. Yes. Julia said it right. There's a difference between accountability and cancel culture. Fully agree. And here, the way he's saying, like, I'm now making so many different changes in my life. This is what it's about. That is what it's about. Did Shane Dawson come on and say that I am... Um, I agree with you, Chloe. D like, do you think... Has Shane Dawson came on and said, I'm making positive change? Has Jeffree Star said, I'm making positive change? First and foremost, I really want to focus more on spending time in person with the people that I love and care about the absolute most. And I also have a lot of work to do in terms of getting my mental health back to where it needs to be. What's now, you guys ask? My parents and little brother just got to LA this morning and we all got to hug and be together as a family for the first time in a while. And Did he go through all this alone? Yikes. My closest friends that are not on my payroll, may I add. Ooh. He was shady for that. I love it. Are all here too. Um, we're celebrating my birthday next week. I'm turning 20. So he was still 19. Whoa. Many of you guys noticed that the Sisters Apparel website was down. Um, Sisters Apparel was through Jeffree Star Cosmetics. I was so excited about a lot of the things that we have coming very, very soon. And just the line in general, I am so grateful for all of you guys' love and support on it. It was really, really fun to work on. I also love the team that I worked on it with, but unfortunately I had to sever ties with Kelly Merch. I just don't see a world that exists where I could ever be in business with a team ran by someone like Jeffree Star. Um, if you place an order on the website before it went down, everything will still be fulfilled. Don't worry, you'll get your items. And if you had a gift card beforehand, make sure you hold on to it because the balance will be valid whenever we reopen because we are coming back, I promise. It was so much better for his company. You know, like this happening was so much better for his company rather than just sticking with killer merch. You know what I mean? Y'all, I'm not talking about the voice memo because we can't speculate on something that serious.
sensitive and personal, that doesn't involve us. That's not public knowledge. Public knowledge is Blair White saying, I heard this voice memo. Public knowledge is Jeffree Star going on a podcast saying, I have this voicemail. Did either of them say who it was? No. So why are we going to allow a drama channel to tell us who it was? And then we're like, oh, yay. Wrong. No. And I'm not feeding into it. I don't care. I've talked with so many people tonight. Probably channels that y'all watch. Drama channels. And we're all in the same boat. We have to make where we stand on this very clear. Because if we ever make it seem like we're supporting either outing a victim, an alleged victim, either way, or speculating on something that we should not be involving ourselves in. Do you want to speculate on the fact that Blair White said she heard it? Speculate on whether she heard it or not. You want to speculate on the fact that Jeffree Star went on a podcast and said, I have this, speculate on whether he has it or not. Do not speculate about who the person is. Because you know what? That's why sensitive. That is too sensitive. What if you're speculating about something that it actually is that person or that it isn't that person? Either way, it's not a good thing. I do talk to Peter, yes. I wasn't talking to him tonight, but I do talk to Peter. So speculating on public knowledge is different. You know what I mean? Blair White said she heard it. Speculate on whether she heard it. I know I have. Jeffree Star says, um, goes on a podcast and says, I have this. Speculate on whether he has it or not. Don't speculate on the fact that, oh my God, a drama channel confirmed who it is. Who gives a shit? Stop with the speculation of who this person is in terms of going as far as saying, I believe this person because they said they confirmed it. Please. We have to do better because stuff like this. No. There's tour, which I've gotten quite a lot of questions about. Um, despite the ticket scandal, we are almost completely... Sold. Oh yeah, I remember he went on tour right after this. Nationwide, and uh, that is mind blowing to me. I'm so grateful. Um, I know there's been a lot of emails and speculation. As of right now, I unfortunately do not have a full answer on what is happening with the tour. Didn't it, I think the tour did it get cancelled? Hmm. But I will have an update for you guys by the end of this week. No, it got cancelled. I'm pretty sure it got cancelled. Promise. Going on tour has been a dream of mine so long now and I really want this to happen um I just feel like meeting you guys hugging you and just getting to thank you face to face for what you've done for me it did get cancelled okay that's exactly what I need in my heart I was wondering right now, because I didn't know at the same time towards a lot um it's a big big commitment and I want to make sure that I know what I'm getting into and that when I walk on stage every night it's with a genuine smile and you guys can feel that and you're able to smile yeah turn got cancelled so keep you posted as for my YouTube channel, I decided that I'm going to be taking some much needed time away from content production. On my last few videos, I've definitely noticed quite a lot of comments talking about my ego or my attitude, getting the best of me and getting to my head. Okay, listen to what he says here because it is so important. And I appreciate the constructive criticism and feedback. And after a lot of reflection, I think you're right. Um, I've lost focus. Okay. Thank you, Brittany, for the thing. And I will, I'll look into it. Yes, thank you. Yes. And that sucks so much. Look, he's taking full kind of building. I want to get back to it Look. so badly. And I want to get back to my original goal, but I have no motivation other than just creating original content. And that'll happen for sure. And I already have some great ideas. In the it's 420, time. everyone. It's just going to take a little bit of time. As for my other social medias, I pledge to myself that I'm going to try to power down as much as I can. Um, I'm sure I'll be checking here and there, of course, but I do really want to focus more on in-person time and the people around me that are loving. See, this is making really good, like, change within your life. And we know that James now, because he's made such a good, um, everyone's saying the same, everyone, he's, he's made such good change within his life, you know what I mean? Um, and that includes all of you guys. Whenever I do come back, I don't know what it is, but I just cannot wait to show you guys a better Person of me. I want to end this video today with two things an apology and a thank you. PewDiePie told him to say this, but you know, even if it, like, he has genuinely worked on himself. To my sisters, I'm sorry if I disappointed you. 
and I'm really sorry to have to watch all this go down. Take a full kind of it's moment. outside of me that I'm really not proud of and that I know I need to work on changing. Trust me, I will be. I recognize the fact that I haven't always been the best role model, and that sucks. I've tried, but I will try way harder. But also to my sisters, thank you. Thank you for the messages and the tweets and the emails and the comments. Yeah, I agree with y'all. I'm really happy he listened to PewDiePie. I've received over the past week, making sure that I was okay. And the same thank you goes out to all the fans that were concerned, but offered constructive criticism in hopes that I'd be better. It does not go unnoticed. And you guys helped fill my heart with love when I truly yeah, I love didn't Felix. think anything would be able to. The same thank you also goes out to all my influencer friends that reached out to me in private to make sure I was okay during all of this. When it felt like the entire world hated me, it was really comforting to know that there were other people that understood the situation that were willing to show their love. Um, I know who you are. You know who you are. And one day, I'll make sure that all of you guys know who they are as well. Um, I think that is all I got at this point. Thank you for watching. You've made it all he says that's all you got. This is 40 minutes long. In the spirit of turning something negative into a positive, my sister. That was a dope video. Someone said subscribe. Yeah, I'll check what we're at tonight. Everyone, make sure you hit that little button. Let's talk, though. We have a lot to discuss. Yeah, oh my god, we're about to hit, we're about to hit 5.3 um, thousand. Um, everyone has asked me to watch his first video. We can watch that if you want. Oh my god, my video came out with the recommended. Let's not talk about it. Oh my god, we are so close to 20, or 90, what? Oh my god, I can't talk. 95.3. Please subscribe if you haven't. Okay, so. People are asking me to watch his first video. Um, now we may as well as well watch it because I will not be revisiting this on a live stream. Um, okay. It's currently half four for me. People are asking. Okay. So this is called James Charles's weak apology video to Taddy and James Westbrook. Oh my god, someone commented me when I accidentally hit a dog in Minecraft. <laughs> okay. Subscribe, thank you so much. Yeah, I'll... Um, we're getting so close. Oh my god, we went up again. Oh my god, we're so close to 95.3. Um, thank you all so much. I'm gonna watch this video. Hi all, James here. Um, no, okay, this is this one, remember. I'm traveling abroad and just woke up. But I wanted to sit down. So he said he did this in the moment, remember? I'm on subbed in all six accounts of mine. Thank you. Because I owe everybody. I owe everybody. Good night, Shada. Um, but most importantly, I owe two important people. Um, he didn't need to apologize to these people. Let me turn this video up. It's quite low. To Tati and James Westbrook. Um, I'm sorry. He really didn't need um, to do this. That is going on at all. That I have put you through over the past few weeks. I met Tati. I know he was going through it, but this and video was not it. Three years ago now, when I was first coming into the industry, and when I had no friends and nobody to talk to or look up to, and Tati. This video was like very quickly took on. A yeah, I imagine apologies for something you didn't do. Because she knew my parents. Yeah, he wasn't thinking. Much. And over the past few years of knowing. He was 19. Her family, her and her husband have given me so much love and advice. I think he was just heartbroken and confused, I think, as well. And a place to stay. I'm going to actually put this on fast mode. Shoulder to cry out at three in the morning. And it's on two. Support me, nobody else when I wanted to. And I'm so disappointed in myself that I ruined our relationship that. Didn't this is sad. He apologized for a relationship like he didn't even know he were in. You know what I mean? I'm showing you all the time. And through all of this, what's up to what's my own job I can say or do to ever earn that friendship or trust? That's so, like, he didn't deserve that know. friendship in the first place. Like, he shouldn't have, um, like, wanted to go after it. A lot of my, most of my career over the past few years has been about me making mistakes and trying to learn and grow from them. Yeah. And I haven't always done much like that. that. Um, but I have always tried. Because there was a lot of people watching me and that, um, a lot of people have these role models. And I, I hate knowing that I disappointed. 
Uh, I do not like the fact that he made this video. But he was 19. He's two years older than me in this video. Oh my god, he's the dramatic breathing. I remember this turned a lot of people off. New subscriber here. I'm heading to bed. Oh my god, I'll see you, Vicky. Yeah, the heavy breathing really got a lot of people angry. Ria, thank you for the twenty dollars. Oh my god. Oh my god, thank you so much. Look, I know what um I wonder if he'll go on tour again as well. Okay, I'm gonna pose a question. If James went on tour, by the way, thank you so much, Ria. Um, okay, y'all. If James went on tour now, would you go? I don't think I would. Like I like he makes dope videos and stuff, but I just like his singing. I couldn't know. I, could. I like. Could. Um, like okay, so like if he went on, would you go? Let me know. But it's the singing for me. You know what I mean? I couldn't. Sorry, my phone's like freezing. Or my laptop. Because if he was to start singing, I would leave. No hate. Like, all love. Okay, I'm trying to read your comments. Hold on. Um, everyone is making jokes. My chat's like freezing up. Um, okay, it's back. Oh my god, Kaylee! Oh my god, thank you for the 75. YouTube queen, young and sweet, only 17. Thank you so, so much. That is so sweet of you. Thank you so much. That's so generous. That's so, so generous. Thank you so much. Oh my god. Oh my god, I don't know what to say. Thank you so much. Kaylee, thank you so, so much. Thank you so much, Kaylee. Thank you so, so much. Everyone was like, oh my god, his singing. Um, okay, Kaylee, again, thank you so much. That's sad that he said that. At this point, the truth doesn't matter. They weren't loyal, though. There was two voice fiction. Oh my God, it's like it's just like a not polished version of what he did last time. El Amor, El Amariah, Mariah. Yeah, I think it is. Thank you, so, thank you for the five dollars. I believe that he's good with Taddy now because he may use her in a lot. Ooh, she's so much on her phone. She's a witness. That's a that's good. Um, get some sleep, Adam. Love from Dublin. Hi, Lauren. It's time that I wish I had. Um, I've been all along very strange. Like, if you think, this is just, like, a not-polished version. Hello. Wait. Oh my god, stop fucking moving. Oh my god, Joe, thank you for the donation. You subscribe here, you're so sweet. And of course, free Brittany. Yes, I have so many videos on that, and I'm planning another one. Thank you for your donation. Oh my god, he's talking about his mother. I can't really be picking his nose. I'm sorry, I apologize. <laughs> This is my job to do this. No matter what anybody's saying, or how much you're talking about, what I need you to know. But you're the most important person in my life. And they've got an amazing mother. And I don't know what I'm doing without you. And I'm so grateful for everything you've done for me and the lessons that you've taught me. And I think you're going to continue to do for me and my mother. And I think you just know that. I think you just know that. I'm saying thank you for talking to you as well. Who's an amazing person and truly does love that's everybody around her. That video makes me uncomfortable. Um, 
Oh, I don't have my past. I feel so bad for him. But I just like this video. It makes sense. Or screenshots. Yeah, it's uncomfy. I agree. Sorry. Oh my god, that was the video. Oh, so his response was literally one hour long. Oofy. Okay, everyone. Whoa. Oof. Oof, oof, oof. Okay, so we literally, we watched both responses. Um, oh my god, we're getting so close to 95.3k. That's exciting. Thank you all. Okay, um, I am now going to end this stream. Two hours and 15 minutes. Thank you all for coming on here. Um, I'm going to go and respond to some comments. So if you've commented on any of my reviews, expect a response because I will be spending the rest of my night responding. So thank you for joining me on my stream tonight. I hope you all have had a really good night. Um, I enjoyed spending time with you. Um, I love you all. Thank you for watching my videos today. I love my... Oh, sorry, I need burp. I love my videos today, so make sure to go and watch them if you haven't, okay? This video will be on my channel later, and I will tell you when it is, and I will see you all. And make sure to subscribe, tell your friends. We're getting so close to 100k. Um, this has been fun. Thank you all, and I'll see you all. Bye-bye.